Hello, pre-notification gang. Dead by Daylight is getting a Resident Evil character. That's pretty cool. Which character? Yeah, this is the new game. Review of the game? Well, so far, it's an incredible game, honestly. I haven't played it yet, but man, oh man, it is remarkable. I don't know anything about Biomutant. People just kept asking to play it for the last month or so. So that's exactly what I'm fucking doing, baby. You gonna try Dread Hunger? First game I've heard of. Or first time I've heard of that game. Will I be playing Apex Legends anytime soon? Mm -hmm. Am I ever gonna play Amori? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Your Ambrotos brother? Nice. What happened to Killer Bean? I don't know, I don't make it. Thanks to the resub Legarathon. I imagine it just takes a long time. Thanks to the resub Log Slugga. Yeah, I'll moist meter this when I beat it. No, I still haven't heard from Disney about landing the Percy Jackson role. I imagine they have to just look at their budget to make sure they can afford my rates. That's the only thing I could think of for why it's taking them so long to just give me the role. Here, I'll check again real quick. Yeah, nothing. It's weird. Oh, it's a TV show. Yeah, apparently the movies sucked ass. I didn't watch them. Did you beat Resident Evil 7? Yep, 7 and 8. <clears throat> Thanks for the gift sub, Hav. And the resub dubs bowl.
Thanks to the Bits Supreme, doing all right. Hope you're doing okay. Yep, today we're trying Bio Mutant. We'll see how it goes. It does not have good reviews at all from critics and non critics. But maybe it'll still be good all the same. Thanks to the Resub Tanner and the Bits Beetle Butt. And the Prime Major General Cookies. Is the tier one degen is bad? Is this an ad? Why do people ask that? I really don't get it. If you look at everyone who's paid, uh, sponsored for it right now, it has hashtag sponsored or ad in the title, which you will shockingly notice is absent from mine, which should give you your answer. It's the resub Tarrant and the Prime Nubigu, Emochan, and Doom Kraken. Thanks to the Bits H man. And the Prime Cheesy Beto. And the Prime Overload Live. Hope you have a good day. Frickle. And the Prime Ozzy Gold Dog. You ever gonna play Destiny 2 again? Yep, next year when the next raid comes out. Until then, nope. And that's the only fun to be had in Destiny is the raids. Thanks to the resub Zestolt and Paul Odious. And the bits nuts. We did Vault of Glass day one. Thanks to the Prime Tyler. We only do the raid for day one and then we're done. feel like this game was overhyped. That's also how I felt. I don't know anything about it, but this is apparently the studio's first game. And it's not doing super well with the reception. Thanks to the resub. Doublelift Lab and the Tier 1 Taken Mage and the Prime Big Daddy. And the bits Hydrox and resub Geo and Aliquas. Aliquas. That's so sweet. Thank you, GA. You grinds. Hope your wine shop is doing fantastic. There's a tier one salty soup can and the bits. Anonymous Tyler and the gift sub. Big goat prime attack helicopter and resub. Hello, lolmand. Thanks to the resub long long and the prime at tallest noodle. Hope you have a good day, Hyper Mormon. Thanks to the gift sub, Judy. Ah, oh, congrats on graduating. That's huge. I'm glad you're enjoying Neo, John. I wonder if that's my Berserk manga. It is not. Thanks to Resub Cinder. Thanks 
the bit dust and resub Kizerm. Main guy reminds me of the guy from Blinks, if anyone remembers that old Xbox game. Oh, jeez. Maybe you said Gabe Doom in the five tier three gift subs now. Let's to see you again, man. Hope you're doing well. Holy shit. Really appreciate it, Nolix. I love the art style. It's very reminiscent of that old Xbox era. Something as beautiful as this. In terms of character and world, it seems. A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. and resub spooky. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's expect an unusual end. Welcome to Biomutant. Exit 5 gift subs Lavender Witch in the resub Nacho Cheese and Tier 1 Tyler. In the bits Navixian, Hyper Mormon, and Anonymous. Uh, I'm just gonna go through on medium. Next to the resub Ferrets. The resub James. Encode your DNA. Okay. Primal Dum Don Rex. Okay. Um, what kind of build do I want? What is Dum Dun? Excel in. Luck and Charisma. You're telling me this guy is charismatic? He looks like he's suffering from depression real fucking hard. I probably just want to do something really aggressive, so that seems to be like Hyla. Actually, Dum Don does have a lot of melee damage. I give the five gift subs Judy again. And the resub Waifu for Hire. And Lamented God. Murgle seems kind of useless. What do you mean? The two that look strongest right now are Flip and or Fip and Dum Don. I'm gonna do Dum Don. Define your genetic structure. <laughs> All right, I think I'm just gonna go full Neanderthal Dum Don. More like fucking Dunk Don. I'm just gonna go wild on the strength. I think that looks good to me. Choose a genetic resilience. Uh, maybe heat and biohazard. There. Maybe something nice and kind of close to even. I just feel like heat and biohazard are going to be the most detrimental. Without playing the game, that just sounds like it'd be the strongest. Thanks to Risa, Lyacon, Noah Miller, and the Prime Rev. The bitch blessed. Choose your first style. First style? Oh. He just kind of looks like a corpse. That looks good. Pick your main color. I think red looked good. Choose your detail. 
I think white was the right call. This actually does just look like an actual corpse. Though I guess green could be kind of cool too. Make him like fucking Hulk Buster. Kratos? Yeah, a little bit. We'll, we'll keep we'll keep it here. Eh, I don't know. I do like the gamma radiation look. Thanks to resub Kylo and the bit sweeper. We'll just do it here though. I don't think it's cool enough. This covers his whole goofy face. That's not what I want at all. But I also don't want him doing long range, especially not with this build. Cyphreak. Saboteur. Sentinel. Probably this. Mercenary. <clears throat> nah, actually probably mercenary. Commando. Yeah, these are probably cool for a build that I'm not doing. I, d I literally put every single point into strength. He's just going to be like a caveman. I'm thinking Sentinel. Sentinel. Thanks to Prime, Blaze It Pan, Livia's Swizzle, and the Five Slabby Patty. Yeah, I don't trust anything like that anymore, Slabby. Everything's a rug pull, it seems. But I wish you good luck. Mer mercenary. Fury sounds better, though. We'll just do Mercenary. Chosen. Yeah, I think that Fury's gonna be nice for this build. Good choice. I want to take off my hat, though. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. That's deep. Jesus Christ is a profound. Okay. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. I'm dark red, as in strength and power. Or light blue for freedom and loyalty. I'm not a fucking nerd. Fuck loyalty. I want strength. Unlimited I'm power. To introduce myself. I'm the dark side of you. Your inner voice, to be precise. An echo of the balance and consequence of your actions as you Let's go! I am one with the darkness. That thing over me. But I'll be here waiting for you when you have a change of heart. Hey, wait, that looks just like that Pokemon. The the one that's like Pika wearing Pikachu's skin or whatever. Forgot the name that of it. Thing? I'm right here. Let me remind you we're two halves of the same. With the yeah, Mimikyu. Being, I'm the better half. That's the exact same like mask. Thanks to give sub sweeper and resub. SRMGT and Malvin. The best end is the one you decide yourself, and it seems we're headed in the right direction. Thanks to resub pasta hurricane. Guess left can be right sometimes. Is there some Uncle Wayne? Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Watch your urethral swab video and I'm disappointed. My BF is now scared of getting one. Please change his mind. No, he's making the right call. Under no circumstances should anyone get a urethral swab. Do you Just do a urine test for STDs. Your family, or did you choose it is the most painful experience imaginable for a man. Imagine instead of giving birth, 
You're getting the baby put into you through your dick hole. Predator only grew stronger. Thanks for the resub, Evan Yeezy. And then the baby starts like turning around and it's made out of spikes. Oh, shit. Oh, I guess I didn't time that right. There we go. Thanks, you said Brian the Fox and Slick Nick. You better make a run for it. This is not the time nor place to end this story. There's a prime killer croc. This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Yeah, I know, Sweeper, it's Let's rough. hope you're ready for it when it comes. The game might be better played on a controller. The Predator yeah, is maybe. The only threat. I think it's a prime card. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began. I think it's a five years of days, Liz. I think you're right. I'll play it on controller. Actually, nah. I changed my mind again. One at a time. Is this Warframe? Yeah, it's just like Warframe, really. Here's the resub Zinatram. I really appreciate the five against Swiss. Good to see you, man. Is it a looter? I don't know. Does this heal me just by going next to it? Thanks the Prime, Dotaru, Ryanch, and the resub lunchbox. I see, I just went out of order. Thanks for your sub T Jackson. The oil sludge is everywhere. Oh my god. The most, There's no HUD. Means death. Not in the top right. But I'll move it anyway. Oops. Oh boy. 
No, I fucked it all up. There. That was easy. Thanks a prime squiddy. What the fuck? Oh. Holy shit. Looking good. Here's the prime MP table. Have I seen the new Atlas game, SMT Nocturne? Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. Yeah, I've seen it. Thanks to Prime B. Morgan and the resub Ultimate Potato. Oh, goddamn. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Outplayed. Wait, could this just... Okay. That'll do it. Thanks for resub. I already said that. Thank you. Thanks to Tier 1 Professor Thick. Look, an emergency box from the once was. A rare sight. Thanks to the Prime Smelly Willy Lord Hazard and the Risa Blue Shinryu. Hey Sox. Is it a good game? I am less than ten less than fifteen minutes into it. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. I will say though, the combat Whoa. feels like there's no impact ever. It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. 
Thanks to the gift sub Rebel Cry. I don't know about that. Frustrated? That sounds impossible. Unarmed. I can't imagine that's very good. Um, I guess maybe just dual wield. And then I'll just wait until I get my, uh, my shit. Alright, let's go. I am doing full strength only. Oh, okay. Didn't jump at all, it seems. This is the origin of Splinter? Maybe. Exit the Prime Schlap. Not far enough in the story to know. Thanks the Prime, your boy Vipers. Why is the game so bright? I might have turned it up too much in the beginning. My monitor is a little brighter than what you see on screen, so... Where's brightness? I like that there's a fur detail spot. Where the fuck is brightness? Oh, here it is. There's the Prime Smartimus Prime. The Morks produce biomatter in their multi-organ that they shed under distress. Logs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you. Looking very clean. Oh, baby. Thanks to Risa Kirikasa. Grab and pull. Is there a sub margin? Toxin all built vessels called arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single arc they left behind that mm. no other arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us. Never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. A puzzle, eh? <clears throat> Just a few moves left. Make them count. Wait, what? Oh. I see. Ugh. Jesus, I keep turning it the wrong way. Hmm. 
There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago. But it's what are you talking about, Scoots? The world wasn't Makes the bits craziest boy ever. The Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste, and without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills. Oh, those bastards! That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right. But no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wild. No idea, and Scoots. Created bizarre mutations in Couldn't their offspring. Couldn't tell you. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. That's impossible. No one would ever just dump waste in the ocean. The sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. There is a lot of narration here though. Like a lot. Label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Just a few moves left. Make them count. There you go. You can lower the narration. Nah. I'm going to play it the way it was meant to be played. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. I'm coming, wheeled one. The hit sound is awful. It just doesn't feel like or sound like anything is hitting. That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. Thanks to the gifts of BRD. There's no impact to anything. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. Maybe the he Prime Two Plane. Familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. No. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. Yes, that night. There have been With the, the waste in the ocean. Ronin seen outside the Great Wall. And he's, he's happy to Duffy, see it's true. Where he said Flaunty. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. It's a scar you're covering under that eye patch, isn't it? No, that's not what it is. You anyways, you look exactly like your Mooma. <laughs> your Mooma. 
Master Jayato. There's no That's doubt cute. you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Moomer and Popsy, was <laughs> the beginning of the end. It's like an old fairy tale for kids. Mooma and Popsy. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present to find your way back. But he's grateful you have. Vunko Vuntu. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Mooma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen. Thanks, you reset Kit Kat. The impending threat of the World Eaters bringing down the Tree of Life is ever so close. He also worries about the Jagni tribe that's actively working for a doomsday and purging of the world. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Of course, of course. Who could forget? Uh, this must have been when I was a baby. Uh, booba. I used to 10 gift subs, Jimmy, and great work last night, man. You were fucking popping off. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. You're Thanks to Prime Sam. Child, so you probably did. Last night was great, Jimmy. You're a monster. And thanks again. He understands why you came all the way out here to see them, the potato people. The potato give some soft people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. <laughs> you might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy. An excellent Thanks, source Uncle Daddy. of heat. The Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. Okay. Thanks, the resub I nod. It looked like I could swim. Oh no, not oh oh boy. Okay. So much for the speed run route. My day's been alright, Sam. Hope you're having a good day. <sighs> Animals can't swim. Yeah, they can. Some of them. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle. <laughs> Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the feeling the fate of the world depends on it. Good hunch, I guess. Thanks to Prime Jize. You'll need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from Monono as they become one with the tree. 
You will need a net to catch the nono. I will appreciate it, Sam. Welcome. His, but asks you to be gentle. The nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of ki, the primal energy. There's a lot of exposition going on right now. What? Son of a bitch. You handle that net like you've never done anything <clears throat> else. He's impressed. <laughs> He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of nono out there that need to be gut. They're hiding in the glitter grass that mostly grows deep inside damp caves where they draw mineral from the natural rock. Hmm. One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But Today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. All right. Well, let's fucking do it, I guess. Did Charlie make the character his height on purpose? No, it was just a happy coincidence. It wasn't by design. Oh, you son of a bitch! Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Muma will be able to protect us. No, don't say that. You can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted. And unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. Yes, technology is bad. He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Muma comes looking for you. You did good here today. No, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. I'm not skipping shit. I'm playing it the way it's meant to be played. He devoted to growing the tree of life, but now he's afraid. It I hope he can tell us about every single day that he devoted to saving the tree of life. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the world eaters arrived. I hope he goes through each and every day, start to finish, morning to night, tells us what happened. ...that occurred after the apocalypse the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land set the World Eater's DNA into overdrive. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mekton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Pup at the end of the West Route. A little bit, Sam. Wiz is still repairing his octopod to confront the murk puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the northwest route. Noko has tamed the midget and is preparing to take on the hoof puff at the end of the <laughs> east route. The hoof puff, eh? Finally, Goop is almost done with the goo ride. <laughs> 
Goop, Gwyneth Paltrow. The, of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Out of date says his friends are gearing up to stop the world eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The what? The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. Thanks to the resub, Michael Jones. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. Yeah, let me ask about Porky Puff. These names really do sound like out of Discord. Porky Puff, Hoof Puff, Goop. Uh, what was the other big one there? I already forgot. I like it. I love the names. He gave them these names to weaken them. Oh. For him, the Porky Puff is particularly personal. It was that carnivorous beast that took his leg. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. All right. Let's go. You're getting the hang of it. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in. And the rope looks strong enough to climb. Is the resub way too spookyish? Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help. It can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. I bet the world eaters are humans. We eat the world and we fuck it with our technology and waste. A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. Let's see. Okay, so I piss on it and then learn about it. Thanks, reset up too late. That's incredible, BC. Glad to hear you got partner. That is such good news. Thanks to Prime Cheese. He's earned it all. That must be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. The world eaters have made their marks on our world over time. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in. Thanks to Prime Brinde. <clears throat> Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. Thanks to Prime Turtle. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to He's come to here. Jesus, this, this seems like a quote right out of like Bertharians. Your inner balance is two halves that completes a wholeness that flows through all things. At times, you'll be able to manifest your inner balance through deeds and dialogue. That actually just sounds like some chakra vibrational astrology stuff. Hey, 
He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. What? Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of- I should have just left him so I don't have to keep hearing the narrator endlessly. Oh, oh wait, that- that's all? Oh, that was easy. Let me help you. Okay, thank you. I'll do it myself. What's there to like about light? It hurts to look at. Not as much as it hurts to look at you. Always making this personal. And you're always trying to pretend it's not. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Out of date says you will make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there are two nearby. The myriad is the tier one real Homer Simpson. Good matches. They act on the understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy, as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing certain. I think they very it's much had like a big story in their head and just wanted to explain every possible detail imaginable. The Jackney tribe because there is nothing left for like exploration. It's just constant hammering of exposition. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Jackney isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. He believes the tribe Sifus, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your... Things are some festively sober. Convinced that defeating and Jackie, the world is the only or Jack. way the world can be saved, but they've been forced to focus on their rivalry with the Jackney tribe. Out of date will be waiting for you beneath the tree of life if you lose track of what you need to do. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. All right. Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? Well, see, like, why, why, like, why have that? Quite literally, every single place you go, if you open a door, the narrator chimes in to say something like, Do you see that rope? I wonder if you could climb it. It's just way too much. Holy shit. I'll go to a uh, myriad.
It's unusual that natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded. I'm here, Myriad. Oh wait, I bet those guys are good guys. I don't know who's the good guys. Godspeed. Well, should I kill them? That's fine. They'll they'll figure it out. Oh, I have a side point I forgot about. Mm. Team is pretty good. Oh, yeah, oh, fuck resistance. Vile Bite seems to be the best. We'll do Vile Bite. Thanks to the resub. An old used stick. This area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now. It's a war zone. He is correct. It is a war zone now. Thanks to Prime Space Boy. I haven't seen the Dead by Daylight Resident Evil shit yet. I'm sure it's cool. Thanks to Prime Tasky. That's the Myriad Tribe's fortress. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way you'll know. <laughs> I was just thinking about turning back, but now that I know the narrator thinks I should, I'll do it. Fuck it. Let's see. Looking good. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Doesn't know if the Sifu will have time for you, but he's a prime valerium. To find out. That's nice. I'm just a total stranger. I can just come in here and fuck everyone up. Thanks the resub, Chief. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. Wow, that's noble. The Sifu is convinced that defeating the world eaters and saving the tree of life is the only way to make the amount of times i've heard that exact statement already holy shit i i, I think that might be the key he welcomes you to the myriad fort and introduces himself as the tribe sifu but he was hoping you'd show up the news of a vigilante Prime, one hairy on crusade crossing the great wall through the crack in bunker 101 has preceded you <laughs> that's that's awfully specific okay I guess word very much spreads fast the wall that separates them from the other side the wasteland you came from he guesses the time spent there just left a blank space in your memory as empty and barren as the wasteland itself He's convinced you've returned for a reason, and is glad you chose to come here. 
There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. The Sifu says sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. Your Muma invented Wang Fu. The Prime Jasper consisted of unarmed combat and the six weapons: the boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land, and there are rivals in all directions. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. If you believe there's some good in everyone, there's still hope for tomorrow. You'll unite the tribes and defeat the world eaters to save the tree of life. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. He was hoping you'd join them. You understand that there's no harm in doing good to others. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can unite the other tribes. The one you should coerce first is the Jagni tribe. I just learned about them. I don't know why I have to ask this again. The Jagni tribe may believe that fear and hatred will lead them to domination. A vanquisition of the tribes and destruction of the Tree of Life won't be the restart they want. It's just an end to everything. Their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. They might bring them war, but they'll never take away their inner peace. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. All right. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. How does he know I'm not on their side, though? I literally just shook this dude's hand and he heard about it. So they want to wage a gentle He's gotta have like a CCTV a camera in here or something. As much as it breaks. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to unite their tribe with yours and live. They pass the point of no return as their words lost power and see no other way forward than using violence to combat violence. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. Oh, those are cherished memories, I'm sure. The Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Anyway, the memories you make with your family are strong. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Come to I thought that was it. Passing the old village on your way to the first rival outpost might help. Thanks for the resub code of guns. And maybe Even Sam. though it's now a different place from a different time, it is a place I'm not skipping it. We are playing it the way it shipped. And that's all there is to it. Man. 
I'm not refunding it. I will beat this fucking game. And then moist meter it. I can tell you, uh, an hour into it, I'm, <laughs> I'm not really feeling it. I love the design of the world. I love the art aesthetic as well. Character design, all that shit. But my god. There is almost nothing but the narrator explaining every single trivial detail of the world and repeating himself a million times. Also, the combat lacks impact. It literally feels like I'm not even attacking things when I'm in combat. It's an interactive podcast. Yeah, so far. Better beware, that's a month up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially, deformed and unfurred. Oh shit. See what I mean? Like there's actually just no impact. I should probably heal. Whoops. I can't, I can't move. There we go, now I can move. Oh! Got him! Fuck yeah! All right, now we're feeling it. Watch you flex. All into strength. I'm just gonna save everything else though. Okay, I need to pee. Give me one sec. Thanks to Prime Micro and the resub Charmander Charmander. And yeah, it's, uh, it's not incredible yet, Yona, but maybe it gets better. Like, the narrator stops. Bear back. Thanks for the resub, Will Dozy.
All right, I'm back. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. I agree. There is something special about it. And that's when Charlie had an insatiable thirst. So he decided to take a drink of his water and attempt to quench it. It was successful. But for how long until Charlie gets thirsty again? As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's Is not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. I, I, I thought it was over. I can't believe it. <laughs> That's where the game was going to end. Hey, Goop! Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He asks how you are today. Oh, I'm feeling great. Goop says he Thanks always sweet does milk. better whenever he leaves failure behind. He's happy his good mood is infectious. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming. Technique. Of course, of course. Learning to swim can be scary when you don't know what you're doing. But fortunately, he's here to give you a helping hand. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. Yes, I, uh, I can. Exit tier 1, Echoclays. Excellent instructions. He says, that wasn't too bad, was it? Way to go. Don't let the sound of the waves drown out your spirit. But you need practice. Lots of practice. Great things usually happen to those who never stop trying. He hopes you'll be one of them. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to swim. You can never try too hard. Judging by your Mooma's look, Mooma! you forgot something. Forgot to give her a kiss on the lips. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. Oh, whoops. It's time to go. It's you know you can't make up for lost time. You should know. Practice makes perfect. I agree. As long as it doesn't kill you, it'll only make you stronger. She'll see you at the village square. She says that's good. With a passion for learning, you'll never cease to grow. All right, Muma. Here's another familiar oh, son of a bitch. on his mind. Asks how you're feeling today. Good. In fact, great. Being nice comes easy for him. That doesn't make it less important. He was hoping you would help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. Yeah, fuck yeah, let's go. He thinks you're truly a kidling of your environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. All right, I think I see some. Fruit drift 
He wonders what usefulness you found. He says every little thing counts. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upside. Of course. He says only a few are willing to do the little things, but if you make enough of them, they can have a big impact too. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. All right. What? Oh, there's the one above it. Okay, looks good. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. He believes being considerate will help you feel at peace with yourself. He understands, but hopes will. you won't be needing it anytime soon. You're not in this world to live up to his expectations, but he hopes you're never going to have to use that weapon of yours. He he said that a few times. I think I I think I get it. He doesn't like violence. Next, it seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's Muma. To lose her patience. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. Thanks for some Harry Potter. No, nothing yet, Ozzy. That's all she's ever asked of you. That you'll try and give it your best. You can't do more than that. True. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. Then start by meeting her on the village square and take it from there. She knows you're a free spirit, always on the move, like the wind. I'm coming, Muma. Oh, wait a second, Muma. I think I see dialogue. They look determined. Better watch out. Thanks, Arisa Pantry Boy. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. That makes him wonder why you were here looking for it. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. This guy's a bully! They push each other to become better, and sometimes someone gets pushed down along the way. Hey! Oh, whoa, whoa. Gameplay. Caught me by surprise. Oh god, they're going in. Can I not parry right now? Oh yeah, I can. Guess I was just missing. What? That's scripted. Muma. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? She says it's nice of you to consider them, but they have weapon training at sunrise tomorrow, so they'll need all the rest they can get. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. You won't need excuses if you are strong in your conviction. That's a very good point, Muma. Alright, I'm coming. Muma. 
Muma. Here's someone close to heart doing what he does best. Ah, uh, that's Popsy. Thanks to reset Ellie. Always puts a smile on your Popsy's face. He wants to know how you're feeling. He heard you help. Thanks to reset golfing key and Jarvis. He's proud of you. He asks if you could help him too before you leave for training. Yes, of course, of course. He wishes that was true for your Mooma too, but guiding the village into the future and teaching Wang Fu to her disciples seems more important for every day. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. All right, Muma is going to be very upset though if I take too long. <laughs> Where's the third pile? Popsy! He's curious to see what you found. He's all for renewal and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bio-nucleus pool and refresh his DNA. Of course, why wouldn't he? That makes sense. Whatever the fuck that means. He can work wonders with pretty much anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. Yes, I actually just did that. Thinks some are and some aren't. One thing's for sure, though, your Mooma thinks it all takes up too much space in the house. He says it's about time you learned how, and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. What does this do for me? That's fine. That looks good. The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. Bro, I put like a fucking feather on my shirt. It's not that edgy. He knows she's already proud of you and everything you've achieved so far. You should take it with you. Wear it to practice. He thinks you should. She'll be proud of you. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. Goddamn right, Popsy. Here I come, Muma. says it's about time you got here. Well, it wasn't my fault. Wants you to understand that you can do anything if you work really hard. True. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. I heard he got partner. It's exciting. It's well deserved. Don't hit back. That's a good attitude as long as you keep learning. Exit Prime Young Pot Roast. Thanks to Resub D from the hill. Your Muma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. Aw, Muma. It's all thanks to your good teaching, thanks Muma. You for being such a good student. Been working on a present for you, with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. Thanks to Resub Miss Tango Down. Good to see you. You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. 
says he's always thought so well of you, just like her. Oh, this guy's getting some hookah going, eh? Here I come. Catchy. Your Muma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. I know, Muma. It's great. She's happy you appreciate what others do for you. A piece of Scraptronics like this has built-in old world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. You're lucky to have such a fine helper with you. Your Muma says you look tired. No wonder, it's been a long day. She's so Thanks, Teresa, ghost boy. Rest, and you'll find strength for tomorrow. Thanks, Muma. No! Stop you polluting from setting the world on fire. Your Muma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. I'm coming! Oh, I wasn't paying That's attention. Just oh, still got fuel it. To the flames. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Why wouldn't she pick you up? It's part of my training. We did it! Your Muma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time. There's nowhere to run to this time. The time has come to stand and fight. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. Oh, Muma's not gonna. She tells you to oh, stay back. no. This is her fight. It has nothing to do with you. History. Thanks for the resub, she Charles Barkley. But she can't be worrying about you while she fights. <laughs> this is her fight. Here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present. Ouch! Don't worry, I'm drawing aggro, Muma. You can get some free hits in. Let's go! You must go oh, it's scripted. To make it out of here. Ah! Your Muma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. So much for standing and fighting, huh? Oh, he can swim too! What the fuck is this? Oh, God damn it! I wasn't looking.
Mooma! is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. Oh, all right, I guess. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. I, I don't think she's actually dead. She probably comes back. I mean, she, she just kind of got like Push a sacrifice while is in water for someone else. It's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. No, Popsy dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. Jesus, I totally forgot. I, I, I completely forgot we were anywhere but in that area. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is lonely. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. All right, let's go. Tribes caught a fluffy heart. I have no idea, out. Luke. It's no no clue. They couldn't keep it down. Fluff hulks on the loose. Oh, God. I got it with the vile breath. Oh, shit. He's popping off. I may have got a little too confident. What? Much better. Okay, I can't hit him right now, I guess. Thanks for the five gift subs, laggy loot. Appreciate the generosity. got three shot by that guy. Is this game worth buying? Uh, I, I, I certainly wouldn't say so. There's a slider for how much narration. Yeah, I'm not touching it though. This is how the game ships by default and that is how I will play it. I've made up my mind. If there's an option to turn down dialogue, you probably overdid it. They couldn't keep it down. Fluff 
Sharks on the loose. How did that hit? Whoa! I've got him. St oh, uh, okay. I, all right, I'm, I'm in it now. The Wong Fu Muma taught me is really coming into effect now. Take this, Fluff Hulk, and this. This one's for Muma. Hiya! Gotcha. You gave them no choice but to take it down, even though they'd planned to take the Fluff Hulk out to the far Fnacky Leaves and let it go. I did that? I fucked up? They've received news a Ronin had strengthened their ranks and were looking forward to meeting you. A group of myriad crusaders already headed out to Jagni's Mercadorpus outpost. Thanks for your drumline, sorry I just saw that. You should hurry there and help them best the outpost. You complete them. From this point on, the myriad is unbroken. Woohoo! Alright, let's level up. More strength, baby. Alright, let's upgrade. I'm not dual wielding yet, so it's probably not worth. Thanks for two gift subs, Revs. Look, an emergency box from the old days. Wow, bet that nut makes a tight fist. Whoa! No one's going to see you coming in the dark. Oh, there's my dual wield. Okay. What was the special attack? It was... Tunnels like this still carry echoes from the past. Can you hear it? Thanks, Arisa Robert Lake. Fucked him up, let's go! That's going to leave a mark. No! 
my combo. Jesus. Your key energy isn't up for that. Wow. Half life. What the fuck is going on? I definitely wouldn't say so, small suck. That notice board, filled with the leftovers of used to be once. You're getting close to one of those old Toxanol bricks. The Toxanol Corporation made this place, and then just threw it away when they were done with it. I can't believe it. Toxanol never cared about the waste, as long as they didn't have to pay to clean it up. Oh, those then sick evil bastards. Somewhere in this brick town. Just hope it's not buried. Okay. I don't really want to do that quest yet. Uh, just. Which quest was I doing before going to that? It had to be this one. Thanks to give Sub Robert. So much fun to sneak around here. I have new Wang Fu somewhere. This looks like a good AoE weapon. No, oh, I'm sorry it wasn't what you were expecting, Laggy, and thanks to the resub rebel cry. I just gave my honest opinion. The narration never fucking stops. It's constant expositional oh, diarrhea. The the it's just way too much in that land. department, and the combat is so weightless. Like, I never even know if something hits. God damn it. Don't worry, I'll kill them. I uh whatever. We'll we'll use it. Fuck it. This guy's already dead, but let's really banish him to the shadow realm. Oh, I blew it. On a scale of 1 to 10, how do you like the pacing? Literally a 2. Every single spot you go to, the narrator stops just to say something. You open a door. Wait a minute, this is a room! Perhaps somebody's used this before. But what were they using it for? It's just, it's way too much. 
Way, way, way too much. I guarantee as I get close to this uh, uh, watchtower, he's going to stop me and say some shit. I already just have a very strong feeling. Oh, wrong. Oh, what is this? Ah, this is where he stops me. What the fuck is this? That's just nasty. Biohazards make you puke. Maybe tier one Moodoom. What did I pick up? Isn't that a new gun? Says it's time to set the outpost free. Inflict as little damage as possible as you make your way through to the rival captain. Freedom is not worth having in a world that's doomed. Okay. Awfully pessimistic. Here's the first line of defense. I'm ready. Oh, I have to toss the bombs back, I'm sure. Oh, missed it. Thanks, the Recep Epsilon. Time to hack. Spin the twirly wheel and open that drain. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Everything's clocking together. So many keys, so many locks. Keep going. That cage is holding a helper. No! A comrade? In trouble? Yeah! hope you'd come but weren't sure if they'd last long enough to see it says the tribe's been hard on them i don't even know how this guy knew i was coming he's been a fucking prisoner and i just recently accepted this literal minutes ago the guards Once must be extremely done, generous with information them, but trust you'll take care of it
What do we got? Anything good? Okay. A sharpshooter. The scaffolding looks unstable. I got him. Better stay clear of the red ray. Go. Oh. Here's the second line of defense. Yeah, I love Metal Gear Rising. Red means danger. Okay, can I? That's not really working. Okay. Uh, here we go. Timber. Bet a big bump will bring it down. Switched off the light. Oh, I killed him instantly. A barrel shoot. Smack it to get a barrel out of it. Then hit it toward the gate and blast it. Hiya! That looks splody. Shoot it and watch it blow. The cup boom. You're in. Almost there. Anything to loot? Thanks, Arisa. Danger Noodle. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. No, that's what I was saying. The combat feels like there's actual no impact. Says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Ugh. Your seafood is not very good at all. Stronger. I love the passion put into it. They clearly love the world they've built and a lot went into it, but it is just not very good so far. It's the Prime Quadia. Says you did a great job capturing the outpost. You've earned the privilege of carrying the tribe's weapon. Figures the honor belongs to the tribe, too. Out of date says he's doing his best to keep up, but from what he can tell, it seems you're making progress with the tribe conflict. He had a feeling you'd get along with the Myriad tribe, but it remains to be seen what the future holds for your alliance. You seem to share the same values as the Myriad tribe. You both have the same optimistic outlook on life. At least, for now. But Out of Date emphasizes that solving the tribe conflict won't matter unless you help make a stand against the World Eaters. I do know that. Every single character in the game so far has said that a few times. Doesn't sound good. Out of date's forebodings are justified. The Jumbo Puff needs to be taken care of.
Kutuvun Popotoe, Udenu Kunun Yofobo. He says the time has come to confront the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Udenu Kunun Yofobo. Gizmo is working on making his Mecton strong enough to endure the oxygen deprived dead zone all the way up to the World Eater. Okay. You should get over there and see what you can do to help. That does sound like a good plan. I don't know what I was thinking. That you need to know. No. I'll, I'll be just fine without knowing them. So, what weapon did they give me? The boomerang. Wait, what? It's not the boomerang at all. So the merp is a grip. What the fuck is the boomerang then? Oh wait, this is a gun. I thought it was a whole weapon. Alright, can I fast travel out of here? Do I, I'm assuming I have to be out of sign to fast travel, huh? Thanks to reset Mr. Trent. Is that a correct assumption? Wow, look at this place. Assuming this is one of those side quests. Oh no! There's a prime sky. Let's see. How in the fuck do I fast travel? Oh, it was blocked. Uh, it's actually closer, just... No, this is probably closer. Nah, this is closest. Thanks, Reese of Obscure. A Jagni tribe stronghold. I don't need new Wang Fu. a good note. Easy prey for loop Thanks to resub snoo. For everyone else, they're a perfect mount and easily tamed if they are kept fed. I need a cocoa pipe. Okay. Let's ride! Thanks to the Prime Atomic.
That's a resource totem. A monument left behind by those that picked scrap. Oh, right into it. Nutsack. The tribes need someone to unite. Hiya! Wood scrap's great for building things. Hold on to that. It's the chug yard. Well, it doesn't open like I thought it would. Where's the entrance to this bad boy? There she is. Oh, no, it's a side quest. The board mainly has posts from those that used to work That's at the fine. Chug yard back in the days gone. They don't make much sense these days. Not much more to say about the board, but Gizmo, the Toxinol Corporation, used to run chugger chuggers out of here. Big machines on rails with smokestacks that f they can carry you anywhere you like. Well, anywhere that they go to, and then you can. You're on the right track. Keep your eyes open. Okay. Don't really want to track that quest. Where do I get in? Whoa! Here we are. Enemies! Tribes always scavenging for scrap, and the yard has plenty to go around. But they should have stuck to looting instead of playing around with sprockets. This boomerang does a lot of damage. Could you spam this? Actually, hold on. I think I need to blow that up in his hand. Yeah. I got him. Cracker dude. Bumper bonkers busy ram banging the door. This is your chance. Holy shit, there's so many. You've got more than a flesh wound. What the fuck? My special attack? When can I use my ultimate? I did it one time by accident and I haven't been able to get it back since. Okay. God damn it. It's Looking time good. For an adventure for good or bad. Oh, I thought that was going to be a friend. Give him a hand. Let's try this again. Okay. Okay, this guy's got a, a good mix-up. I oh, killed him. I have not once been able to use that, uh, super Wung Fu. Yes, you can do anything. The sky's the limit. Now, let's take this back to Earth. 
Nice, wow, fuck you yeah. Really took that all the way down to the end in flames. Let's see. All right, I gotta take a shit. I'll be right back. Give me one second. I'm back. Let's fucking get it. Oh, thanks for the prime cannon. Thanks to the prime machine triple T. It's a wonder some of these up and downs still work. Guess they built machines better in the past.
The spent nuclear fuel that toxinol dumped in the surf had detrimental effects on the marine habitats. Oh no. The overflowing landfills contaminated the groundwater. Easy to give some Combined, flicker and resub meteorite. Their world hurtling on an inevitable road to ruin. I need to brush up on my Wando, but I have a feeling he believes it was you that caused the bang at the yard. Oh, and he says he knows you. You used to call him Gizmo. He gave you the oil-greased hands when he taught you how to upcycle. Gizmo remembers you as a nice kidling, and he can still sense the warmth of your good heart. But Gizmo says how you experience a memory can be different. You know the story, but sometimes the truth it brings is personal. It carries never played so Neverwinter. And its insatiable hunger has only increased over the years since it claimed revenge on your parents. Gizmo says he also has re-memories from the long gone, but unlike you, he doesn't think of the past, for it's gone. That is deep. That is profound. He understands history made Lupa Lupin a big part of your past, your present, and soon, your future. You still believe there's some good in everyone. You still have hope for tomorrow. He says you should know that what's meant to be will always find a way, but history shouldn't consume you. <sighs> what are you talking about? Who gives a fuck? Why would I forgive him? Gizmo understands you still have strong feelings, but urges you to keep them under control. You've witnessed firsthand what it'll lead to. Yes, that's the way. No arguing with that. That is how you shine light. Thanks, Brian. Skeptiles. Don't doubt the dark. Oh. I'm so proud of you for doing the right thing. Can't believe you let that loser sway you. Oh. Would like to know if you ever doubt the choices you made on the path that brought you to this point. Would you have been what fucking choices have I made so far? I've done nothing. I've done absolutely nothing. I sided with the myriad and I killed four people in a camp. Hard to believe the world is actually going to survive. Just seemed impossible till now. You chose to buy the game. <laughs> it was a meta question. I did buy it. You were the only chance they had. Wonders if you liked working with the Myriad. They always seem so centered and so seeking. Thinks that's more than most are. It's hard to keep to a path like that. But that's not important now. Overall worth it for this game from what you've seen? No. To bring the past up to the present. And where you go from here is up to you. I think the team behind it has a lot of talent, but this is their first game and they are a little, little off. He can't leave the underyard as he has no protection against the vacuum in the dead zone. So you need to salvage scrap to upcycle the mecton, starting with the old crate outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste. There are more Once you're in the open world, it gets 10,000% better. Easy to find if you keep an eye I find that very hard to believe because it's not just the excessive dialogue and narration. It's also the combat isn't very good. I do like the elements of like uh, all this shit in here. Like all the auras, the psi powers and all that. I think that's good. But it's kind of useless when the combat isn't good.
They're short of breath and death to this zone. Better take care. He who half breathes, half lives. Oh, I should be fine. That's the leftover you're looking for. I can't move. Thanks to Prime Stormy. That's the leftover you're looking for? Too tight, and the rope tips. Smell that? Biohazard nearby. Feel like a landed fish? You sound like one. Oh god, it's gonna be close! Holy shit! Oh! Huge. Wow, oh, look at that. Thanks to the Resub Raven Classic. Hey, big guy. Thanks to Prime Manny. To get the Mekton functional, oh. we'll have an engine, a fuel soaker. A gun and a gathering net, but no armor, <gasps> nor enough oxygen. Oh, that's fine, Gizmo. That's fucking fine. He's a prime waifu. Something he devised to salvage valuables from the ground. There are usually spots hidden beneath puddles of oily goo where you can use the net. Yeah. He's been working on another project. He's a tier one Steno. But it needs ammunition, and by that he means the scripts. He says if they're trained right, they'll turn into a distraction for the jumbo puff. <laughs> the best way to find scripts is to go talk to Moog. He knows the ins and outs of every breathing thing left alive after the apocalypse. <laughs> Unfortunately, this I know who that is, VBS. I've seen his work. Out into the dead zone than Moog's camp on the steep depot. Once you find Moog, he'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find scripts. It's a little feisty and tough critter. A perfect fit for a live ammunition, if you ask him. Thanks for some bumsy. The resub moist man. The world is awake. Now we're cruising. Oh, 
Look at that. Fuck yeah, it's huge. The grease monkey's mecton is built sturdy, just like himself. Can you imagine how this place used to look before the dead oil flood? Oh, oh shit! Close call. Woo! Almost went right into the oil. Jesus Christ. Might want to hold your breath before you head any further. You're about to witness the breathtaking vistas of what's known as the dead zone. In the old world, roads like this really led somewhere. Now, most of them lead to disaster. I can't suck this one. That over there is Steepo Depot, the cliffside that Moog hangs on to. Here I come, Moog. What? This one's impressed to see you and out no, it's not Jack. He figured you'd be dead by now. Not many are as tough and clever as you must be. Says a monster hunter hears many things on the wind. Mook says that all your power doesn't do you a bit of good if you're not willing to pull the trigger when the time prime man to be? To be? Choosing what to kill and what to spare are the most important decisions you'll make. You might have a steady aim, but you need to be sure that you pick your targets with care. It's hard to make those life or death decisions for others, but someone's got to do it. Otherwise, they'll do it themselves and you know they'll miss. When it comes to monsters, he mostly picks who dies. Says it's why no, it's not good. Seems to be coming back, but he there's been nothing more good so far, shoot. except for the art style. Work so hard to keep things alive, and some of the like uh, mutations and shit. But the combat's not very fun, so it's kind of worthless. With the stubborn myriad, he keeps trying to put out their lights, and they keep putting up new ones. Says they keep the monsters away. He needs them closer, not farther. But enough of that, right? He says the wildlife, nature, has changed and turned against us. Instincts of survival took over when the world changed. Everyone's so talkative in this world. He's not sure they just tell us everything, every history. Anymore. And if it's changed, who knows what it's done with the chemical composition of their body output. Right now, though, he feels he's come to a point where he's got a pretty clear idea on the whereabouts of monsters, both tall and short. Says as big as they are, the world is bigger. To find where they are, you need to see where they've been. Mook says you must learn to walk before you can run. It takes practice before you can call yourself a monster hunter. Fortunately for you, he can help. I don't he really want to be a monster hunter. Something small I just, you go I just want to unite the tribes and move on. There's no better place to start than a squip cave. Hunting down a couple of these little critters for yourself should keep you on your toes. Says it's not far at all. Fortunately for you, the Squips seem to have acclimatized themselves to the otherwise uninhabitable dead zone. Okay. Where do all the critters go? 
I don't have any knocks on me. That's sweet. Thanks, Vifey. Wait, it's the Scrip Holup. Place is just filled with critters. Don't worry, I've got him. Yuck. Pew e stinky. I don't need lore. I already get it. Humans bad, contaminated earth. Oh shit, I didn't even see the Zoyo! Oh. Sludge truck. It'll what? fill the place up and you can get up to that entrance. What the there. fuck is going on? Oh. Take this! Oh. A critter for you. A story has got one. to keep moving forward. Hup. I got gotcha. you! Oh shit. Hiya! Plenty of skips. 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 Bang Bitsky Jup Spip Go? Holy fuck. Give me another skip. This one's gonna be my friend. Looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow just a few moves God damn it. make them count. Bristles like the hair of one electrified. You need to line up the switches so they match. Uh, I keep going the wrong way. Wait, what? What didn't I match? What? Oh, Jesus Christ. Bristles like the hair of one electrified. You need to line up the switches so they match. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. What's this game about except talking in wasteland? We need to kill the puffs. And we need to kill the world eaters to save the tree of life, because without the tree of life, we all die. I think I just met you in VR chat. Yeah, it was probably me. I do love VR chat. I'm always in there. Thank you for the bits. Thanks, Resub Mex. Let's sub frave. All right. Holy shit! It's a cricket bat. About that blade. It's a Hoover Grew blade. Oh my fucking god! I 
Let's go! Eyes on the road. Thanks for the resub, Jiggy. I don't feel like level leveling up. Just doesn't matter. There's never combat. Thanks the resub obsidian. You've got nothing left. Thanks for the bits mini. What's up, Gizmo? I'm fucking back, baby! Okay, hold on. I'm fucking back, baby! Speed run! That's enough scripts to sustain the Mecton's claw crane cannon with infinite ammunition. Wow. It's not his cleanest invention so far, but it gets the job done. Use it to suck up gooey oil puddles in the Mecton's way so you can pass. Gizmo's made vehicles before to confront the Jumbo Puff himself, but failed. But this time, it's different. The uh, maybe is Xbox Live. Do the job. Holy shit! It's time to put a stop to the World Eater now. Otherwise, he fears the damage it's caused to the tree already will be too much to handle. He asks you to not even think about taking on the Jumbo Puff on foot. You'll need the Mecton to do the job. Take his word for it. He's lying. There's time to improve the Mecton before you confront the Puff. There are no. more quick boxes out in the dead zone with gear you should be able no. to equip the Mecton. I'll do it without. I really don't want to. He's sure you remember enough of what he taught you about upcycling to fit some scronky gear to the Mechdon on your own. Fine. Gizmo wants to help if he can. Sure. Understands you have things to do. Let's go. Oh, God. 2,000 meters. All right, let's get it. No, uh, I can't I'm sprint with the Mechton. Now. And this is top speed. So I hit one of these and I can kind of glide a little bit, which seems a bit faster. No, I'm going to keep playing this. I, I'm going to moist meter it. Oh. It's not very good, but that doesn't mean I'm going to quit. Whoa! Get the fuck out of here! Yeah! Yeah! You could just go to a place like this to get a proper meal back in the old world.
Here I come. Take this. Oh wait, let's open this on foot. I see tier one Rigarune and the resub Fraggle. I'm gonna keep the see duck face. There's the prime crack bully. Almost there. That Jumbo Puff's gonna get fucked up. Watch out! Holy shit! It's a Mufflamog! Gizmo warned me about these! Close call. Watch the Mr. Me Seeks! Holy shit! Another Mufflamog! I'll melee this one. I missed. Okay. Range just seems to be easiest, even on foot. I think I made a fucking bad call doing full strength. Even with zero points into any of my range stats, I still do more damage with my gun than my fists. And I maxed strength. What the fuck was that? Thanks to Prime, Pedro, Ra Pedro Bilbum, and the resub, Lima. No, I went right into the fucking oil! As a game, I'm getting mixed reactions from a lot of different people. Um, well, it's not good. But it's hard to be mean to the game, considering the team really put a lot of passion into it. But this is their first game, and it, it just... It's it, it's not great, or, or really good, either. Yeah, I can absolutely see kids loving it a lot. Yeah, I agree with that. I think this would be a game that would resonate really well with a child audience. That's a jumbo puff with an 
Holy fuck! I'm stuck. I can't see. I'm doing it though. Yeah, it really seems like range is just the most efficient DPS. Thanks for the reset, Papa Swift. Did I launch something? Because I didn't see shit. We got him! I'm stuck. Thanks for the bits, technical walrus. I've got him right where I want him. Turn! No! Start like a snack, and you'll end up with a ride down the intestinal canal. What? That's too close to the end stage. Look at you, all pooped out. No! From this point on, there's no way forward, but going back in. All right, now nah, I take everything back. The game's fucking incredible. Now I get to do that whole goddamn thing again because I drowned in his stomach and got shitted out. Yeehaw. Oh, never mind, there's a checkpoint. What am I supposed to do? That's too close to the end station. Better move up. Up and away. I will be swept out the bowel way. Pumped out than flushed down. Don't let it happen again. You see, it's his heart. It's on the inside that counts. That meaty tore at the Taurus is pumping at half a beat. You know what to do. Wow, what a super sized worm wind. That must be as big as they come. Here I come. with a throw up. Can it really get any better than that? There's a tier one Daniel Butkus. Uh true Rigaroon. We got him. Hooey. To celebrate 40 minutes of dialogue, let's go!
He thanks you for dealing with the first World Eater. It's a start. It's a pretty you strong start. Out of date and find out what you can about the machine he's named the Ark. You're good hearted enough, so you'll have no problem getting him to share the information with you. He trusts you know where to find out of date by now. He's always been at the foot of the tree, and that hasn't changed. Oh, God. Do I have to turn this in? Gizmo will always make time for you. No, fuck no. Absolutely not. Says you should. I don't think I have any fast travel points in this area. I also don't need to level up. Um. Can't spawn a transport here. How about here? No. Hey! Ride like the wind. Let's go. Oh, this is the wrong way. Nah, I'm not sure, Phantom. Maybe at some point. Thanks for reset, Eagle Andy. Oh, fuck. Let's go. Thanks for your sub It's a bubba, bubba schnarfs. What, where? Is he bubba, bubba schnarf? Must be. I'm here to help. Why am I not doing the leaping lice anymore? No! No! I killed the little fucking mushroom guy! Thanks to the Prime Blunts for G's. Don't let your mount ignore you. What do you, what is, what do you mean? Thanks to the Prime Proximity. Is this open world yet? I mean, it looks like it is. Can this thing swim? Because I've already kind of committed. Thanks the resub. Glogris. 
Fuck, we're in a dead zone! Hang in there! Close call. This is called suburbia, a place to get away from the city stink. Oh, I'll pass. Ooh, the tree of life is looking good. Thanks for your sub cracking. The Yerp Fields. Where the echo of your actions resounds clearer than any other place you... There it is. Oh, there she is. The idea that all life is related <sighs> by common descent. Where the twigs are existing species, and those produced in the past represent the succession of the extinct. <sighs> the tree's great branches were once budding twigs. A connection between the past, present, and future. A representation of all extinct and living species with its ever-branching and beautiful ramifications. We are an evolution of those that came before. Yeah, dumb ancestors. <sighs> Imagine being born like a hundred years ago. You have to be real fucking dumb. No electricity. No gaming. They try to make it like replicant? What are you talking about? Uh. When a story okay. comes to you, pay attention. That's some good e-waste there. This one is Bang Shelter 8F. Wonder how long they held out here. It's a cold zone. Even a thick coat of fur is enough to keep you warm here. Okay, I'm gonna fill up my water. I'm thirsty. Thanks to Prime Sergeant Agent. I'll be right back.
What the fuck is up, team? I'm back. I got a snack. I'm re-energized and ready for some Biomutant. My favorite podcast. It's the Prime Banana and Mastaboat. What am I doing? Oh yeah. Thanks to Prime Cocoa Puffs in the Bits Worst Street. You have another sound trending on TikTok? Which sound? That sounds cool. Ah, uh, thank you, Rip. A classic. I want my map back. I thought this was closer. <laughs> These are the prime bez bezerta. Okay, having a hard time finding this guy. Whatever, Moist Meter Apex Season 9. Why would I do that? Breathe in that day shine. There is nothing in the world. Well, that's the whole point. The world has been contaminated by machines and nuclear waste and oil. If you'd been paying attention, you would know that. Because they've only said it 40,000 fucking times. How do I get to where this guy is? He's supposed to be at the foot of this tree. Oh, here we go. Lupa Lupin's camp has always been there. Hidden deep inside the mountains. Thanks to the resub Pranja and Timmy Turner. Yeah, I guess kind of Rigarun. Not wrong, I guess. It is kind of like paying for just the. Uh, Tread carefully here. This the fuck? is Lupa Lupin's camp. Thanks to the resub Sea Turtles. Oh my fucking god, where is this guy? He buried himself under the tree? Not even Lupa Lupin's here, he was like the main bad guy. Is he down here? Yeah. Played Knockout City with Matt and Danny. And I'll probably play it again pretty soon with Dankin since the rank just got introduced. Oh my fucking god. Where, where is this guy? This story needs a hero. Wait, this, this is the shit that means I can climb it. Why can't I climb it? Oh my god. I'm being lied to by the game? No! Behind the tent, you idiot. Oh uh, yeah, I'm sure that's where he was. He was behind the tent. And if you're talking about that big rock, I don't think that leads under the thing. But we'll see, I guess. Mush, mush. All right, let's check behind that tent. One guy in Twitch chat said so. 
Oh, what in Tarnate? What the fuck? He's not here. Can I climb this rock, though? Nope. I see. It's just deceptively colored the same thing as things that I can climb. Here's the prime ducky and the resub Cody. Fuck me. How do I get to this guy? I've gone around the entire tree. What the fuck? Okay, that's unlucky. Happens. Where in the fuck is he? He's literally burrowed under this fucking tree. He's dead, you beat the game. Nice. There's a prime Pokemon. Narrator said deep in the mountain. He said at the foot of the tree. When did he say deep in the mountain? Either way, how the fuck do I get down there? I've gone the entire or the entire perimeter of the tree. There's a recent Blunsful. Where's this path go? This is new. There's a lot on the line here. Here we go. Let's see. It's a place well hidden. It's just below the above. <laughs> well, he's not wrong. It is just below the above. Thanks to the prime accused alpaca. I'm here, out of date. Hello. Out of date's impressed you made it this far. But there's still so much left to do. The end of the world is still on everyone's minds. You've beaten a path where you have the power to destroy or save everyone. Question is, what you'll do with what? responsibility? I I have the ability to destroy everyone? Why? That's just letting the game play out without me doing anything. Because everyone's about to be destroyed anyway. Why would I also have the option to do that? Thinks it's important that you remember who you are and where you came from. Someone without knowledge of their history and origin is like a tree without roots. Roots? It's important to stay grounded. You share the same fate as the tree. Out of date says there's a time for everything. And now there's no use thinking of the past, for it's gone. The what? Think of the present because that's where you are. It's time to set your priorities as the one who completes things. If you Thanks to the two gift subs, Alpaca. What was that? How many people have played and said so? I've literally only heard bad things from randos watching streams. Players seem to enjoy it. I'll ruin In that theory. I don't enjoy it. So he's and I'm playing it. Worst. Something he calls the Who calls people randos? It's always such a fucking narcissistic thing to say. 
You're not the main character. Two sides to everything, but for him it would be devastating if you were forced to use the Ark to escape while the world crumbled. Yeah, move forward. Boom. Out of date says there's no clear record of the Thank you two gift subs, Periwinkle. The and the two gift subs, Alpaca. Appreciate it, bro. And the resub, Johnson. He's found evidence on the Ark. Records of a crisis. Decades of contamination that permeated the... Yeah, I saw the reviews before it came out. They were rough. And I agree with them now. Unless this somehow really changes. ...runs through all things, living and inanimate. He's been told the blight affected everything at a genetic level and turned our perception of normality on its head. It was only those that changed that avoided extinction, proving that the possibility for survival and renewal was real. He understands you are curious about the ship at the foot of the tree. He says it surfaced when the oil broke through the ground. Come Reaper. The subs Mudum. Dates the back in days, and now it again, man. after years of study of the manuals he found inside, he believes he's figured the ship out. The Ark has room for four more, and he trusts you'll apply wisdom to your compassion and choose whom to save if the world comes to end. I feel like every character in this game has memory loss. They just keep telling me the same fucking things. Okay. So I can choose who goes to my arc. That's kind of nice. This guy's not going. Yeah, actually, I'll let him in. Fuck it. Out of date says that from what he's heard, you've been busy. Nope. He says he appreciates what you've done so far, but unfortunately he's got urgent news from his friend Goop in the southeast. Out of date says that even though he's unsure about your intentions, he hopes you'll sort What do you mean? Unsure about my intentions. This guy has said I have a good heart, a kind heart, good heart, good, good, good heart. A thousand times. That is all every character says is you're such a good guy. You're a great guy. Wonderful guy. Out of date says that Goop is worried now that the Southeast World Eater is stepping up its activity. He explains that Goop is working on a goo gliding vessel in order to get to the World Eater. Thanks to the but needs Prime Stacy. It it's not very good, Turbo. They're Toot Rubo, not Turbo. Do I still need to unite these tribes anymore? Because that seems so trivial. Out of date suggests that you should. I can just kill the world eaters. As fast as possible and see what you can do to help. He wonders what's on your mind. Understands you have other places you need to go. Okay. Uh, I see my cam's blocking it. Narrator frequency. If you feel the narrator is talking too often while exploring, you can reduce the frequency of the narrator's comments in the settings. If that's an option, I think you've gone too far. Like, if you have to put this in the game because your, your fucking playtesters were saying it's a bit much, you should have just dialed it back from the get-go. It's nice that that's an option, but it should have never come to that in the first place. And we're three and a half hours in. Oops. 
So is there any point to even doing this anymore? This seems so worthless compared to just killing the four world eaters. Thanks to the resub, Eevee. I'm just gonna do goop. I'll level up as well. Not that that has done anything Watch at all. You. Mm. Thanks to Prime, Johnny Fam, and Radis. It seems pretty good. But I might as well just save up. Mud punch. Sounds like some, some kind of sex move. A mucus bubble is pretty cool. That sounds good. I'll save up for Mucus Bubble. For a beastie, this mount is so gentle. Thanks to Prime Kubus. Let's see. It just does. Uh, I mean, it is listed as a main quest, but I just can't even see the point of doing it anymore. If I can just go kill the four world eaters now, that should be like the whole world saved. I'm just going to do the world eaters and see what happens. You can insta-capture camps later in the game. Cool, that'll save some time. This Make a tier 1 samurai. Chugga chugga. Now it's just off track. Would it have been faster to just... Nah, this is probably the fastest. What is this? Can I punch through it or something? No, okay, I don't know why that's marked. Where you grab that mount, this corner of the world is called Bricktown. Bricktown, let's go! Will this be on the 2021 Moisties? I can assure you it won't be in the top five. But I also don't think it's going to be one of the worst games of the year either. It's just not good. I'm sure there's going to be significantly worse games that come out.
Thanks you, tier one fun stain. Subnautica station. Goop flounders around in there. I'm here, Goop. Let's see. Goop. Gulpo ain't the easiest tongue, but I think he says he's happy to see a friendly face. Not too many of those around these days. Says it's good to see you again. He's Goop. You might remember him from the old days when he tried to teach you how to swim. Goop says you were always so righteous as a child, and he can still feel it. Fuck yeah. Distance. Yep, so I've been told. Goop says memories fade surprisingly fast. We are all pieces of what we remember. It's only together we can remember the story as it was. He can't tell you much as he didn't want to hear anything about it. He can't understand how someone could be so vicious, even though he knows there are reasons behind it. Things to give sub jiggy. Goop says our memory keeps things for us and protects them until we are ready to face them again. What does that have to do with he anything, Goop? I'm here to kill a monster. To face Lupa Lupin. That's the destiny you've been carrying within yourself all these years. He says that the catastrophe back then didn't vanquish the good in you. It's still there, as bright as when you were a child. So I've been told. Yeah, now I've the time has come for you to remember and act. Your life is your life, not the story you're told about it. Why do I keep getting asked this question? Why the fuck? I imagine the right thing to say is to forgive him. That makes no sense though. But let's forgive this time. The second time I've been asked this, we'll, we'll go with forgiveness now. He thinks that's the right thing to do. It's only when you have forgiven that you'll find peace. Disagree. Light instantly vanishes dark. How much light do you really need? All the light, all of it. Uh, I mean, you could leave a little space for the dark. All the light. Now wait a minute. Says life on the goo is wide open. You have so many choices of where to go. Some harder than <sighs> others, of course. Which kind of Easy you way, God, please. Best to stick close to the shore, then, where the goo isn't so deep. That's like being close to your friends who can help when things go wrong. <laughs> can hardly believe the world is going to make it. Wonders what that's going to do to the goo. Thanks you for doing everything you could to de-goop the surf. Thinks the Myriad made a good match with you. You're both like sunshine on the surf. Never seen any brighter. Shine on. Amen. But hey, back to the goo. Knows yesterday is already gone. It's what you do today and tomorrow that'll move you forward. You need to set the past aside. At least I am not doing anything that relates to my past. He can't leave the I'm just killing the world eaters. My past has done nothing. Of his suit. So you must salvage enough scrap to fix up his goo glide, starting with the old wreck box outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's sure. no time to waste if you want to make the goo glide strong enough to fight the porky puff. I'm sure I can fight it now. You're lucky that way. There's still cargo left on the shores from before the apocalypse. His best guess is a power tanker hit a reef and went under. Uh, can I just goo glide now? No, I guess not. This 
Speed run strats. Morning is breaking. Okay. Here I come. What? Oh. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Thanks to the resub hipster grow. What speedrun strats have been found? Just hitting escape when dialogue comes up every four seconds. I think that's the only speedrun tech so far. Hiya! Oh, I missed. Oh, Jesus. Gotcha. Thanks to reset, Brandon. Whoa, a new puzzle. All right, what am I doing? I didn't read any of it. Oh, I just need to make them all the same. Just a few moves left. Make them count. There we go. Oh, they all need to be green. <laughs> that would make sense. Thanks for the prime spear. There we go. Thanks to the Bits Phantom Chicken Sandwich tier list? Maybe. Big loot coming in. Fuck yeah. Let's go. That's massive. And I can't wear it. Someday you'll be able to do that, but it's not today. Okay. Don't know what I was thinking. Damn, he's fucking going in. I should have done the teleport, I think. Ranges is so much better. It does more damage and it's just safer. Oh, thanks for the bits, Moodoom. Hey, Mike. Hope you had a good rest of the stream last night, bro. Yeah, this game's not very good. Yeah, I listened to the new Devil Wears Prada album last night. How do none of the attacks cause any physical reactions? Well, that's what I was saying. It's just... I, I don't even know when something hits. There's no way to really know. Jesus. 
Shit, I'm stuck. Oh god. Outplayed. Thanks to the resub, Japanadian. I heard about him hitting partner today. I was extremely happy to hear that. He earned it. And thank you for that, Japanadian. Is the resub too tough, Tom? It's a brand new day. And the prime just look up. up the switches so they match. Oh, what just am I doing? Left, make them count. Keep doing that. Thanks to Prime Egg TV and you suck, Charlie. Good. The game's kind of ass. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. I think the team behind it's very talented, and for their first game, they really went too ambitious. They did not have the experience to really get their vision where it should be. But I still really appreciate the small team's passion. But yeah, I don't like the game. I just like the characters, the art, and the world. Everything else is bad. Functional. You will have a pull hook and a salvage net, but no armor, and an engine strong enough to break through the thick goo further out. The story is nice. I completely disagree. The story is nonsensical. The story is like they just read like a book of cliches and then put it all into the game. Like, what is actually going on right now? Tree of Life is in danger. If the Tree of Life dies, we all die. Solution, kill the four world eaters. Okay, simple. And then all of the dialogues about our past and how we have a good heart. And it's done nothing for us. Absolutely nothing. It's had absolutely no role in it, and yet it's supposed to be like the core component, like memories. Memories are what shape us. Our memories are only complete when we come together as friends in your good heart. Like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Makes no sense. There's debris floating around on the surf that might be blocking your path or needs to be towed. That means you'll need a device so you can get it out of your way. Goop says Gizmos devised a cannon for the Goo Glide, but instead of bullets, it flips quacks. Squeaky distractions for the triple attentive Porky Puff, which will give you time to get yourself in position. The best way to find quacks is to talk to Gulp. He has the bearings of the surfipelago and knows where the quacks like to float. This means you'll have the privilege of visiting Gulp oh, in the sea. Oh, baby! He'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find quacks. Let's go to the Sinky Dink. Let's get wild and wacky. He's not sure, but the quacks are probably a leftover from a cargo surfer that went under in the olden days. The squeaky material must have made them surface when their box broke. That's what, I, that's what I said earlier, Phantom, yeah. That's what we were all saying. It literally sounds like Discord names. Time to goo glide. Thank you, Tier 1, Kyle. The Keep prime DJ Raven. What you can do today. Tomorrow's already gone. Yep, I've been watching To Your Eternity. It's okay. Uh, I don't think it's great, Welcome but it's not bad. I do like it. Where the horizon rests on the surfy goo. Oh no! You're poking around Hockburn, a prime village. <laughs> They'll be fine. They don't this need me. This here is the Sinky Dink, 
boom of gulp. Hey. Classic gulp. He's pretty sure he's heard of you before, although the details are maybe a little hazy. He wonders if you have something for him to drink. Guesses he does, but it's a long life in a wild world. Makes the prime Sometimes he's shaken, not stirred. Says you look like you've got a powerful thirst to do something in this world. Huh. Good, bad, not really sure, but it seems like you've been drinking in your destiny and liking the flavor. Wonders if you could take the time to help a man slake his own thirst. You'd be doing him a liquid solid. You're a do-gooder, so you know you want to. You just said you don't know if I want to do good or bad things. He hopes you find a way to What do you mean? The world comes to an awful dry end and leaves us all thirsting for more. Smash tonight? No, not tonight. Drink. Sometimes it's amazing, and sometimes it's awful. But either way, you can't stop drinking till you're dead. Uh, let's try some other drinks. Sure, that's the point. Nice. You can't stop trying new ones. Your life gets dull. Wants to raise a glass to you getting maybe the choosing to save this world was the wrong decision. <laughs> yeah. Respect how you always try to help, no matter that the world's fate is hard to swallow. Sees why you joined up with the myriad. They like a peaceful drink. Just you like also you. just said you don't even know who we are, and yet somehow you know that we've joined with the myriad. Uh, let's have a drink. All of us. Says he sells them drinks. They mostly suck them down on their own. But who cares about them? Says you'd be as bummed out as him if you came for the hot stuff. The glug mocker, Nimhim Bibble, and his favorite, Radium Syrup. That one's even more intoxicating now, aged in truck tankers and all. Yeah, I've been watching Vivi. Thanks for some Kyle. Drink, and radium syrup especially, he can't move, much less think, as the power of his mind is directly proportioned to the quantity of syrup he swigs. That's why he's called Gulp. The drink helps him forget the state the world is in. But it only lasts until tomorrow. The world is still doomed, even if the sun goes up. Figures the real problem is finding something to drink. He wants you to know he has other interests, too. I don't care. Why am I talking to Gulp again? What does it have to do with killing the world eater? Why am I on the fucking sinky dink? Cold drink to relieve stress, even in these dark times. And fortunately for you, he can help. Watching Pippi's flap is calming, but better yet are the ones you can look at and touch, like quacks. There we go. Squeezing them is a great way to relax. Oh, I get to learn about the quacks, which I've already forgotten. Why I need to know about them. They're better at floating than flapping, so you should be able to net a few without growing yourself a pair of wings. All of that for that, huh? Hey, it looks like I'm about to complete that quest over there somehow. Actually, you know what? There's only one left. I'll kill him real quick. Time to disembark. Where's the last guy? Let me finish this off. Mm. 
this is a resting place in a small village that's on fire? I, I mean, I guess if you say so. There he is. There. We're all heroes of our own storms, or so we. Says the tribe Sifu sent them to help defend against the rival tribe that's been terrorizing their village. Isn't sure how long the Makes village will mini last thickness. It continues. As if the plague ruining the land and destroying the crops wasn't enough to bring the village to its knees already. Heard that even simple things like puckle pops, surf salad, muffin grass, and wild pips have become nearly impossible to grow. Maybe recent Kambam. I haven't seen that one, Mudum. That's what you but I do know do. about it. Says goodbye to you. So, yep. Yeah. Gather wood for the village, I'll pass. Yeah, I'll pass, for sure. And the open goo before you. Quack Hollow. It's just lonely. Okay. You enjoyed that. You have a chance to change the future. I don't know why I did that. Or bad. Pointed in the right direction. Why do you? Do okay. Can someone explain to me what? Why did? Out of nowhere now, all of a sudden, I have the option of saving or destroying the world. Where did the destroying the world come from, and why? The world is literally doomed if I don't save it. So why would I also have the option to just destroy it? Surely there's like an actual reason that I must have missed somewhere. It makes no sense. Is there like... I understand like, okay, bad game, whatever, but... Is there like a reason why this is coming over? Like out of nowhere? No, it's not the option of just doing nothing. There's an option of saving it or destroying it. But the whole point is the world is doomed without me. So why would I go through all the effort to destroy it at the end? When that's at no point been anything they've even hinted at. Choose to hasten it. you either slow decline or destroy it to reset the world. Okay. I don't, don't even see why that's an option. Thanks for the bits fire. Yeah, doing all right. Hope you're doing well. I didn't read that tutorial at all. I'm just going to assume these X's have to match. Oh, I need to match the X's on the bottom. So I just need three more. Oh, nope, that's not how that works. Why did that only give me one X? Okay.
definitely not open. Gonna need a key of some kind. True, Mudum. And yeah, I've heard great things about that show. Jesus Christ, it's a huggle! Oh boy. What the fuck? How did that hit? Oh, he's one shot. There are places up ahead far worse than this. Have you been leveling melee at all? Every single point I have had has gone into melee and it does no fucking damage the gun is still with zero points in it and the worst possible range class the gun is still out dpsing it melee seems worthless craft a new weapon this is my best weapon i don't think i can craft anything better than this this was one of the rare ones For all your slashing needs. Hmm. Maybe I'll go back to dual wield. Wonder Egg Priority is great, yeah. I can wear that one. Nice. Still can't wear this because I'm not level 12. Oh wait, these are my weapons. Thanks to Prime Very Veril. I see it now. Fire has it. Sickening. A thing to draw blood. Sprinkler Smick Sharper. That's pretty good. You need to line up the switches so they match. Wait, what? It's already matched. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Is there some symbolic? Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. No, I don't know what that is at all, Tori. Whoa, what? Goo. 
amazing to see so much. Happening. I'm coming back, Goop. Whoa. Thanks, Resub Dora the Destroyer. Check out that e waste. That's a good find. Whoa. Was that a squid? Squid? Whatever the fuck they're called. Nice. Whoa, who's this guy? I don't know why I did this. Life connects all creation. Says goodbye to you. Oh, cool. Not sure if you know this, but the tree of life connects all creation. I've heard the rumors. Oh fuck, I wasn't paying attention. Oh no, wait, it is this way. Oh, big goop glide. as well enjoy it. That's enough quacks to sustain the Googlide flipper with infinite ammunition. Goop says he was there when the Porky Puff took out of date's leg. Why didn't you so help? This world eater has made it personal. Thanks the resub Sean Rose. After that, Out of Date started using his head instead of his legs and came up with the plan on how to best make a stand against the World Eaters, and it wasn't by foot. His solution was just to ask me to do everything for him. That's how he got tasked with rebuilding the Googlide. He seems happy to talk. He literally has no plan. His whole plan was, hey, can you just fucking do it? Says you should take care. Let's go. Oh, wait, hold on. How far away is this? Uh, gulp is a bit closer. I'll just fast travel to gulp. Let's see. Thanks to the Prime sucks. Oh shit. Thought I could make it. You can't swim? You can kind of swim. It just takes stamina. I feel you get more ground covered with jumping. Didn't he teach you how to swim? Yep. Knowing there is a beach out there somewhere doesn't mean you need to take a dip. I haven't seen Idiocracy, but I know about it. 
I know what it's about. And I've seen clips. <clears throat> you gonna try and beat this today or no? I'm gonna try to, but I don't think I'll be able to. Apparently it's like a 15 hour game. Good. Tread soft. That's a monster nest, if ever I've seen one. What's down here? Okay. Thanks to the resub ramp rods. <sighs> Look at that speed run tech. Hold on tight. is a great place to stand if you want to see things for what they are. Everything is at stake. That's the good stuff. So I can't cross that still. How the fuck do I get to the other side? I don't think I make it. Can't go through that zone either. Well, maybe I can make it through that zone. <sighs> is this open world? Yes. Yes, it is. Just get an engine upgrade? No. Smells like surf all right. No. He drowned, God, why? He's the prime Merv live. There are places a goo glide can't go. A peak spot is a great place to stand if you want to see things for what they mm. are. Is there like a zip line up there maybe then? Up the up up. Might actually have to get the engine upgrade. I don't see any way of getting around. I 
Actually, you know what? That speed run tech that I discovered a minute ago. That might that might work. It's not like speed run tech or anything. It's just I jumped and then jumped off in the air. But let's see. Big time save. Looks like some solid wood scrap there. Melee just sucks. Oh, I'm st I'm stuck. Why? still alive. Like the resub sun kissed bean. I wonder if I can even fight the boss without a level one engine. I feel like there was no way you were supposed to get here without a level 1 engine, You'll but I found a way. Practice. We'll see. It's the Porky Puff nibbling bug. It took quite a liking to the crunchy stuff after munching down out of date's leg. How do I get beneath the puff? There's a fucking invisible wall there. Thanks the resub retrace. Unlucky. This time I wasn't sure you would come back. He's a prime coil. Uh. I 
I see. It's only supposed to be when his head goes down. Is a prime atomic Evan. Oh, I didn't even see the. Oh. Gun it and go. Thanks, there, you said, Mikey. Come on. No. This is nuts! Like the prime creamy. Unleash the quacks. I don't get it. I'm really getting him now. Can you feel it? It's the brisk wind of change. Don't let this opportunity slide. Okay, we're cruising. How am I getting hit? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm coming in.
Looking good. Clean. Thanks, Coop. Thanks for Prime Creamy. I feel like you need to do some open worlding to really level up your character and feel more invested. Quite literally the last thing I want to do. I'm just, I, I don't think I can handle more of the narrator explaining every single he thanks minute detail. Another world eater. You're halfway there. He's got word out of date spotted Looper Lupin and has a feeling your time has come. He hopes you're up for it. Even though you're good-hearted, you shouldn't miss this opportunity to confront the predator. Just head back. To I'm not turning off the narrator. Crossed, loop loop I will stay play this the way it shipped. It Got word you found the greatest glider of all. An art. You can't imagine how that would feel to zoom so fast. Funny that you found an ark when you don't need to go anywhere in it. The world's still going to be here. Proud of you for thinking about helping before escaping, by the way. Wonders if there are any open seats left in that fancy ark of yours. So, what we have here is Sure, sure, yeah, come on, Goop. Yeah. You don't need anyone else but yourself and me, of course. Not but I'm part of you, so that doesn't count. If you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go further, go together. The only one we'd want to get away quickly from here is darkness. But you know you can't go on without me. Even if I'm bad company, I complete you. Oh, I think we can finally agree on something. It is better to be alone than in bad company. But best of all, is being good company yourself. Feels thrilled to snag a seat in your ark. Can't wait to glide through the skies. It'll be great, Goop. Goop knows he's repeating himself, but can't help talking to you. Says you're welcome back. All right, let's fucking go. Nope. Shit. Thanks to the resub universal. Oh, thank you for the 13 gift subs laggy loot. Appreciate the generosity, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you for the big drop. Thanks to Resub Terry. Make sure you know how to get back. Here's the Prime Tweezy, Notorious, and the Resub Dunderball. Out of date, big man. The time has come for you to reconcile with your past. Let's do it. Lupa Lupin is still staying in the camp where he was brought up. He hopes you'll find the answer you're looking King. for there. Even though darkness is a part of your nature, he suggests you try to keep your cool, as the best fighter is never angry. Fabulous. 
He'll point you in the right direction, but the rest is up to you. This part of the journey is one you'll have to do on your own. As opposed to what? When have I had help from anyone in any of these fights? The mountains. I guess Goop gave me the little jet ski. Gizmo gave me the mech, but they didn't actually contribute to a fight. They just gave me the tools to do it for them. He knows he said it before, but the time has come to put an end to the Lupin's reign of terror. Thanks to the Prime Darking and the Bits Fin Makul. You should get over there. Come face to face with destiny. It's going to be you against the Lupin. No rules. Alright, let's run it. He's happy to help. Nope. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Laggy Loot, for the 22 gifts. That fucking fat drop. Thank you, man. God damn. Also, I'm I'm done putting points into strength. It's worthless. Never mind. It's almost maxed. Let's do it. Might as well finish it. Come this far. Wait, no, it's not. Eh. We've come this far. I don't need to spend anything else. We're fine. you like it, Moodoom? I really appreciate the generosity today, Laggy Loot. Thank you, man. Will you do a complete run through this stream? Uh, I don't know. It really depends. I feel like the game's almost over. But apparently it's supposed to be like 13 hours long. There's the Prime Divi. Maybe it's only 13 hours if you do more than just beeline. According to developers, main quests take around 12 to 15 hours with all side quests, it should be around 40-ish. Okay, I mean, we'll see. I, I just don't see where this is going to go after I kill the fourth world leader, which I'm getting close to doing. Heroes make for the best story. What? It's up to you if I, I, I can't get up this? Okay. It's not that steep. Fucking looping that son of a bitch. I forgive you. Thanks to the resub, Chris. Looper Lupin says he's been looking for you to this moment. He wanted you to come here and see for yourself where it all started. Oh, I bet her, him, and Muma so were friends. When your mother and kin came here to put an end to his mother, <gasps> Muma was bad. Was different, a hunter. That night, the hunter became the hunted, trapped with nowhere to run. Ah, he Muma! Says your showed no mercy, only vengeance. He can see that you're not like your mother. There's something different about you. Maybe you would have made a better decision than she did, and let them be. They orphaned him, 
left him alone, an outcast and a freak. Lupin oh my says God! He's been reliving the moment every night since then. Thanks, the reset, Yaskin. And no, I wouldn't do that, Legend. He says your mother and her disciples started something that couldn't be undone. They created the monster he would become. He knew his time would come, and he was patient. So, when he got news about your birth, he knew how to get revenge that would last. True. You didn't really get revenge on Muma. You that night he raised the village when you were a child. He wanted you God to damn, suffer Laggy Loot, thank you. Like he had. God damn, thank you, Laggy. He marked you for life, so he'd recognize you when you met again, and you'd eventually remember where you came from. His hunger grew insatiable over the years to come. He tried, but being vegetarian wasn't in his nature, and he couldn't go hungry. But I don't care. Well, I didn't ask about his diet. Why would He's why would I give a fuck a about that? For the sake of appetite, it's always been about survival, and that our true self is being who we are. Well, I didn't think he killed Muma to eat her. Understand everything better, and that natural selection eliminates, and the strongest survive. Fate is for those too weak to determine their own destiny, and now. The time has come for you. Thanks to the reset to pigeon. Yours. Wait, wait, hey, whoa, whoa. I thought we were gonna be friends or something. What the fuck? I thought I was supposed to forgive him. Oh. No. Melee sucks. I'm just gonna stick with range. It's actually just so bad. I have full stats in melee and it does no damage. He's got the turkey leg out! Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Lupin's going in. Thanks for resubbing manual. Got him good. I forgive you for the sake of this world. There's not much left of what we used to call our world. Was he dead? Oh, 
Ok. So did I not even have a choice to forgive him like they were trying to tell me to do earlier? Well, he's dead. I think. Uh, from what he's heard, you've been busy. He says he appreciates what you've done so far, but unfortunately, he's got urgent news from his. What about Lu What about Lupin? Can we talk about that? Out of date says that even though he's unsure about your intentions. He hopes you will support Noka. He says he'll point you in the right direction, but finding Noko and making sure she gets what she needs is up to you. Okay. That doesn't sound good. Out of date was spot on. The hoof puff needs to be stopped. What? Toledrea. Out of date says that Noko is worried now that the Eastern World Eater is stepping up its activity. He explains that Noko keeps a fabled steed that she has planned to ride out to the World Eater, but needs help to get it prepared. Out of date suggests that you should head east as fast as possible and see what you can do to help. He's happy to help. What? So what about Loop? All uh, right, I guess it wasn't important. Says you will see each other later. Wasn't he the one that called me over to tell me that Lupin's back? That was out of date, right? Oh, I don't get it. This is so fucking all over the place, it's unreal. Give your mount a pat and pick a path. Hiya! Oh god. I forgot that I didn't Oops. go back and uh, back around the side of the mountain. Seems dirty down here in the dirt. He's the prime devil. Time to enter gamer mode. Speedrun strats. Damage boost. Thank you. 
Let me up. Okay. That's too, that's asking too much. you recommend this to I actually don't know this game doesn't really succeed in anything that it's trying to do the narrative is absolutely nonsensical absolutely nothing place. makes sense in the narrative so from a story perspective I don't think it succeeds this area it builds a cool world I think it's pretty characters are unique the gameplay is bad. Like, there's like almost no sound effects for one, which is weird. When things land, you don't even know because there's no animation. It still just looks like it goes right through them. So the combat's not very good. The RPG elements are pretty bare, even though I'm not crafting because I don't need to. Doesn't seem like it's that deep, though I haven't really explored that super well, so maybe it gets a lot more. World's very empty, except for occasionally you'll have people like this that just say goodbye to you. Wonders how you could be so amazing when you were so quiet as a kid. It's just there's really just nothing this game has that I think many people would really like. If it was cheaper, like if it wasn't 60, let's say this game was 30 bucks, if they halved it, I'd say, you know what, it's a very light, goofy kind of game. It's it's unique looking, uh, you know, maybe it'd be worth it at $30, but 60, I just really can't in good conscience recommend this to literally anyone. Crazy that it's for children, right? I don't understand that argument, man. Like, clearly this wasn't marketed just a towards kids. There's ads on every single Twitch stream for it. Which way? And the ads make it look like a much different game than it actually is. In the ads, I don't think they're going on about the moofle pups, the squibbles, yeah, and the hoof the puffles. Mountain, falling is awful. Landing like it, uh, is worse. Because it's an, ended up being an extremely childish game doesn't mean everyone knows that. Thanks to tier one Felzana. This region is known as the Knupstonies. You can't find a harder place in the world. I don't feel like fighting the Wep. That's fine. Ah, the Gnote Pen. Nocco never leaves this place. She's always put I've the got a pee. first. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Thanks to the Prime Fergie Boy and the Resub Piss Enthusiast. I wonder if he's going to mention about how good of a heart I have. Or she, excuse me. Nooks isn't an easy language, but at least it's manageable. Thanks to the Resub Best Buy on Earth. She is so happy to see you again. She wonders if you remember her. She's Noko. She let you ride her majut when you were a kid. Oh, of course, of course. Noko remembers you used to chase around with so much energy and is glad to see you haven't lost any of that spark. Thanks for your misfortune. Long gone now, though. Memories show us where we've been, not where we're going. Seems reluctant to even say its name. It's become personal to her too since it's taken so many of her innocent gnotes as prey. Noko remembers those days too, but she never lets herself wallow in them, no matter how tempting that can be. She sees your back to buck with Lupa Lupin. Can't see how I appreciate it. Thank you, Felzana. Avoid that now. Not for long, at least. I've already killed him. Is this game out of order or something? She says the horrors of your younger days were enough to ruin anyone, but not you. You've got all that cheer about you still. Noko says history is like the trail. He's dead. I, I didn't you want it. Oh. Down it any time you like. He's fucking dead. smooth. But you get to blaze your own trail from here. Some reviews I saw had the plot go out of order. So that's what happened? Is that what's going on here? Because I fucking killed him already and now we're still talking about him as if he's some kind of threat. He is literally dead. If they went to his camp they would see his corpse being hung up by tree branches. Then you How does that even happen? She How did it sequence break itself? for what he did to her gnotes, he's dead despite the fact it's against her nature the light shines on better isn't the word i would use there's some mad right, fetch you're better best you're the worst the worst of being the worst but just the best asks how many paths you've wandered in the world and if you ever wonder about what might have changed if you'd taken different ones Maybe jumping that toxic swamp part? That wouldn't have changed anything though. The getting the engine upgrade isn't required. Like that wasn't a quest step. And what kind of choice is that? So happy the world is going to live would have been crushed to see all the gnotes die with it. Likes that you stood up for the world and spurred your way toward helping it out. Glad you saw the light with the myriad. They always bring a sparkliness to any day, and sometimes the nights do. They're just so shiny, makes her smile to think about them. But let's not speak of that now. She has an idea where the Majut might have gone, as there's no other place it likes as much as its own corner of the open wild. She's even named it the Majut Meadow. The Majut will what else doesn't work in the game, Duncan? You mentioned the branching uh, storylines don't work. What else? Somehow we're completely out of order in the story. We've killed the final boss and we're not even done with world eaters, so... I don't know how that happened. It's the most magnificent creature she's ever encountered. A creature straight out of a Stats pretty much store. do nothing. So it's not just me then, right? I put every single point into strength, and I still hit the exact same damage I did at the beginning of the game. Okay. So it's okay. It's, all right.
Highly doubt that Lupin was the final boss. He probably wasn't the final boss, but he definitely wasn't supposed to be killed as soon as he is- as soon as I did. For some reason, his quest activated well before it was supposed to. You found the Majut Meadow. Watch out for the Majut. This mount has quite a bounce to it. Ugh. Got him. Oh, he's following me. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? Your key is gone. Every single enemy so far has had the exact same attacks. All of these bosses. Every single one of them has had the exact same attacks. Well, these aren't bosses, but like the bigger enemies, they've had the exact same attacks. Oh, shit. Feels good to be alive. How is that even possible? There's pretty much no enemies in the game. Why are they copy and pasted? Thanks to the resub, Kev. Now that the Majut is back in the pen, it seems calm. But Noko is still concerned. Doing the same thing every fight as well would be unfair if they change their attacks while you do jack shit aside from shoot pistols. Can't tell if that's an attack at me or the game. It's just the most effective thing. Melee sucks. Stats don't do anything. Thanks to the Prime Terror. She says that you should find some bonbon gummies for the Majut by the cross. Thanks to the Resub Cheezus. At least, that's where she found some last time. It was the mere sound of the hoof puff that started it. She's never seen it so upset. It just ran away before. <sighs> Let's keep putting more points into strength. Actually, what, what dictates the pistol damage? Which one of these? Because putting it into strength has done actually nothing. Yeah, maybe just all luck. I still want to get the mucus bubble, but... I don't think I really feel like saving up all that much. Let's do these. Mm. 
Does this work for my gun that I'm using right now? What's my gun characterized as? Wait, where's my gun? Thanks to the Risa Wu Tang Klang and the Prime Nap. And not sure. Where's my. Is it main hand? Pistol. Uh, I guess maybe just guns is what it's classified as? Is it just- uh, I'm gonna take a guess, I think it is. the guns go here thanks to resub speedy guns have flat damage oh thanks to prime captain nuts Thanks to the resub trenches. The gooing of the water in the ground is spreading. I think I found a way in. Your balance is perfect. That thing moves. Cranks like these usually need to be wound to operate the dispenser. What you see is what you get once it's out of the blind box, that is. All right, that's the you whole side quest. You shouldn't be surprised quest. if you stumble on more of these. It's an elect. Flick the switches in order to green light the current and activate the electrons in the panel. I got it. It looks like those are the same every time. Good. Yeah, baby. Electrified enough to spark. Alrighty, stuck in the car. There we go. What boss are you fighting next? Uh, the Noko one. I forgot what it is. The Porky Puff. Or the Pudding Puff, whatever. Something like that. There's the Prime, Justin.
The plague that's ruining the land needs to be stopped. Well, I don't know about that, Laggy. How many of the puffs have you fought? Two. And I've killed Lupin already somehow. The Majut calms down. But Noko is still concerned. She's relieved the Majut has calmed down. But you'll need a heavier sit tight to ride it than the one she's got. The only sit tight she can think of that would be heavy enough is one she's spotted mounted on an old world mecha Majut. If she remembers correctly, she spotted it at the Smilo Shopperia. Okay. Now we're reaching that point where I think I'm just going to start skipping some dialogue. Oh, I haven't even activated this. Let's see. Hey, we well, appreciate it, Lebowski. Welcome in. I'm not stopping until I beat the game. And then I'm going to do a few side quests. Don't, I'll do those off stream, don't worry. I'll do my due diligence for the moist meter. The sacrifices I make. It's tough being a gamer. You finally found the village of Bumlidoff. Hey, Bumlidoff village, a classic. Alright, I'm out. I love, okay, I, I will say, I like I said, I like the look of the game, and I love, like, even just going through a little village, but there's actually five houses. If that, actually, I'm gonna count them. One, two, three, four. There's four buildings here, and that's the whole village. Like, there is almost nothing to do in this fucking world. And this is the whole village of Bumbladoff. Whatever you do, do it right, or don't do it at all. It's Let's so see. dead and empty. So just like cyberpunk, well... In this, in this game's defense, at least it's not as broken as Cyberpunk. Though that is a little hard to say now, considering I've somehow skipped half the game, narratively, and already killed Lupin. Because uh, it seems like my game is out of order, which, according to Dankin, has happened to other reviewers of the game, where for some reason it glitches and it sends you too far forward, briefly, and then brings you back. So it's definitely still pretty fucking broken. You fight him twice, but the plot goes out of order from what you've read. So was I supposed to fight him then? Because no one has even mentioned that encounter yet. There's a sludge gush field where the company used to suck sludge from the underground. Now it's all over. The Smilo Shopperia. Guess shopping here put a smile on your face. for you. What? Oh. Move! What? Move! Hmm. 
You need to line up the switches so they match. What? Well. Just a few moves left. Make them count. There's a prime hoodie duck. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Am I level 12 yet? Can I actually wear my shit? I haven't checked in a while. I cannot. But soon, I think. We'll get there. Move. Now you need to loosen the bolts without rattling the mechamature. Just a few moves left. Make them count. That's it. The sit tight is loose. Time to stop forcing around and get the sit tight back to Noko. The sun's a long ways away. High boxes like this are few and far between. However, that's no great loss. Talking pictures from the aforetimes lacked a message. Hmm. Is that a shortcut, maybe? No, no chance. I think I'm going the wrong way, in fact. I am going the wrong fucking way! Don't you agree that the narrator is the worst part of the game? Yeah, I would agree with that. Which is why they gave you the option to turn him down, which I have not done. I will suffer through full experience. Thanks to Prime Damien. It's not good, Slim. It's just wait for the moist meter. I don't want to just keep repeating it throughout the playthrough, but it's it's bad. I think the team behind it's very talented. This is their first game, and I think it's only up from here. But this this is not good. That old home. Might not be stripped clean yet. Oh, son of a bitch! Growl oh, I went the wrong way. Alright, we're in it. Let's go. Where's my girl? There she is. I got the big sit tight now. Let's go. Now that the Majut's got a mouthful of Bon Bon gummy and the brand new sit tight is in place, the Majut is ready to ride. Noko's been training another fantabulous little critter that'll hopefully become a distraction for the hoof puff when you confront it. 
Puri Kumbala Mumbai. Andro? She's called them glitter moths. Mm, and guess. the best way to find them is to go talk to Mito. She's asked him to keep them somewhere safe. You'll find Mito at Brightlight. He's a light-headed fellow, but hopefully he'll remember where he stored the moths. They're small airborne creatures with bright reflective wings and a conspicuous fluttering flight. What's a glitter moth? Uh, we're about to find out. I have a sneaking suspicion it's gonna be like every other creature with a dumb fucking name. It's just gonna be exactly what you expect it to be. Just a moth. Here I come! The night could be fun. Oh, don't tell me I went the wrong way. Oh my god, don't tell me I went the wrong way. I'm gonna scream. No, I should be, I should be good. Nope, this is absolutely the wrong way. I fucked up. This isn't their first game. The studio is comprised of ex Just Cause devs, devs, and we all know how good Just Cause 3 was. I didn't know that. Well, this is their first game together as a studio. Still, just because they're composed of talented people doesn't mean they're going to get it right for their first time working together. I still think they're extremely talented, and it's probably only up from here. It's just this game, not good. This place is called Brightlight. Mito lives close by. I wonder if Mito is going to mention how good my heart is here. I remember you. You were such a kind kidling with a good heart. It seems you haven't lost that spark. I wager a gift sub that it's going to be something to that effect. With the world getting darker by the day, there's not much time left to save it. And even though you've just met, he feels you're bound to play a huge part in that. Says there's so much darkness to deal with. Rather than curse it, he makes lamps to fight it. You found your way through the darkness. You shine like the sun in the sky. Mm -hmm. But will you use that power to warm the world or burn it? Hopes you see how much good you can do with power like that, and how easy it is to let it drive you mad. No matter where your path takes you, though, it's important to remember where you came from. The past bright lights are important. Wonders if you know how much of an effect you've had upon the world. Your presence changes things like light changes Oh, darkness. I was pretty close. Did you realize that when choosing where to shine? Says he can see that in the way you brighten everything up. So happy you know you're helping brighten the world. Eh, this is There's all literally saying the same thing. I'm saying. right. He just doesn't remember me, I guess. Whatever One of the first to ones world, to say they don't remember me as a kidling. Bright as you could. That matters more than you know. Says you did the right thing in taking up with the Myriad. They buy lots of his lamps. That's a tribe that believes in the bright things in the world. I haven't done any of the side quests, Peter, so I wouldn't know about that. It's clear you do. Nothing shines as bright as being right. Says he can see by the twinkle in your eyes that you're not here to talk about your allies. He assumes you are here to be enlightened. 
He can't blame you as everything just feels dark and hopeless these days. There's something about you, like you're knit together. Your fate's connected. What you've said, he feels too. So, why not call him me too? He senses you're like the dayfly, living every day like it's your last. Afraid that when night comes, it might be proved right. Jesus Christ. No one is entirely dark. Even the worst have a spark of... Oh, there's that spark I mentioned. I knew it was coming. Mito says he's not only into those who shine bright. He likes things that glitter, too. He reckons you haven't seen a glitter moth and says it's about... Alright. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Let's go! Whoa, wait, this is a new enemy. Wait, what the fuck? Actual different enemy. Wow. Look at that. And he skips it? Fuck yeah, I do. The combat's not fun. Just because the enemies are the exact same moveset doesn't mean that that's the main reason the combat's bad. Plus, I'm gonna be fighting one up here, I'm sure. I also don't feel like going in there. I'm sure there's loot, but it's worthless. That place there's a real fixer-upper, not an entirely lost cause. Okay, maybe I am supposed to go in there. Don't forget the past. Learn from it. I don't know why they keep bringing up the past. It has nothing to do with literally anything. How do I get in here? Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I thought I could break that. Thanks to Prime No Ash. How do I get up? What the fuck? Where's the path to get up there? Is there like rocks to climb somewhere? Because there doesn't seem to be a path around back. Oh, there's rocks over there to climb. Thanks, Resub Hikubola. The hoof puff will stand no chance. Oh, 
Uh, one of these fucking things for the millionth time. Oh. Well, this actually does a lot of damage compared to the other shit. Should have just stayed using the fist. You need to believe how serious this is if you want to have any effect on it. Glittermoth Cave is right here. I don't even know why I'm here. What am I doing with glitter moths? Like, I don't know why I even need to catch him. Just because everything else has needed this? The scrap keeps piling up. Let's go! Speed run shortcut, game time! <laughs> you have to catch them because of the past. True, can't forget the past. That's core to this game. We should be able to fight the hoof puff. Let's go! These boss battles are always super fucking cool. That's enough glitter moths to make her plan work. All right, good. Fuck yeah. She wants you to stop worrying about the paths you've ridden and focus on. I haven't worried about them at all. The one that leads to confrontation with the world eater. Holy shit, there it is! It's time to leave behind the past. The duality of evolution, utterly beautiful and grotesque at the same time. She means that the hoof puff has had more time to eat at the root as it's been isolated in the Knoopstonies Mountains. So, based on that alone, she this is better than Watch Dogs Legion, damage as the for sure. Root that's hidden Watch Dogs the Legion is honestly one of the bore, most boring games I've ever played. This is better than that. It reminds her of the Gnotes, and like them, it's hoofed. They're just a lot bigger. All right, game time. Let's fuck them up. Oh, it's a thousand meters. Let's get it! Speed run! Oh, no, 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 that's not the right way. Is it the right way? Speed run! Oh, you play the new Far Cry when it comes out? Yep, I play pretty much every new game that comes out.
There's a tier one can of panini. This is a good opportunity to fill up my water. I'll be right back. Thanks for the prime elevated mind. So am I almost done? Can someone just give me the good news? Tell me I just have to kill the hoof puff and the last world eater and we're fucking done. That'd be incredible. We have two more hours. That's so good. That's so good to hear. There's a prime Andrew Ross. Yeah, I am not liking the game at all. It's very hard to think of like anything good to say about it. I'm gonna finish it and do side quests for the sake of the moist meter.
I imagine I have to toss glitter moths at it at some point. Oh wait, no, I see. It's the exact same as the other bosses. There's little nut sacks that I shoot here. And now I throw the glitter moth. Oh wait, I yank out a tooth. Is there some Amish? Looking good, one more tooth. Sub Payton. Holy shit. Holy shit, I can't move. Oh God. Feeling it now. He has no more teeth to pull. Come on, baby. Oh, I yank his leg off. I got him! Cooking now, let's walk and go.
How have I not popped any of the nipples this time? There we go. Thanks for the resub, Papa Schlong. One more. Oh, we got him! Hoof puff down. Do all the bosses have the thing where you shoot their pimples? Uh... This one and the last one did, and I've already forgotten the first world eater. I've completely fucking forgotten it now. But they're all basically... The, literally every enemy in this game so far has been exactly the same. Each boss has been the same. Every normal enemy has the same attacks. Except for the one we just saw, which had a slime shooter. Just one more to go. Out of date asked to see you again to congratulate you and let you in on the final phases of his plan. This is your chance to get his priorities aligned with yours. Do right by your tribe and the world at large. Amen. Just head back to the Ark. He seemed eager to see you again. She wonders if the rumors she's heard about you finding the Ark are true. She's thrilled you found one. There's nothing you can't do. Aww. With the world recovering, the Ark would be a wonderful way to see it. So much faster than even her. You gonna beat the game today? Yep. Loves that you did your best to help the world <clears throat> rather than hurt it. You could have used much more of that even before you returned. Any idea who Thanks, Larissa, Cronium. you on your archie journeys? Yeah, you can hop in. Yeah, come on. Get in here. Get in here. You don't need anyone else but yourself. Let's go. Course, but I'm a part of you, so that doesn't count. <clears throat> if you want to go quickly, go but you They're actually saying the same things. They don't even have new dialogue. That you'd want her to come with you. An arc is no good. Thanks, the Prime Mellow. She can't pass this up. She's coming aboard. Nocco knows she's known for saying things over again. Didn't have much else to. All right. Last uh, world eater, and hopefully one of the last parts of the game. Part of this ride is it runs on green stuff. Perfect, thank you, Dankin. What do you think would be a fair price for this game? Even if they just made it 30, I think that'd be a lot more tolerable and more indicative of the quality you get with it. Like Dankin said, a lot of it doesn't even work. Is it better than Mass Effect Andromeda? Yeah. It is better than Mass Effect Andromeda. The writing isn't. The writing in this game is up there with Kingdom Hearts 3 for some of the worst I've ever heard. Easily. But at least the game itself isn't nearly as bad as Andromeda.
we stream again tonight? I'm just gonna keep streaming. Thanks to Prime Sharky. I'm not gonna take a break or anything. Do YouTube tonight? Nope. Can't be too many days like this left at the rate the world is ending. Is there no fast travel? There is, but I would have had to go really out of my way for it, and I figured I'll just beeline it and not think about anything. I would have had to go back to Nako's village. Thanks, Risa Michael. There's a prime donuts. Yeah, the long journey lets me think about my past more. Because for some reason this game just keeps bringing up how important the past is, and yet it has not once at any point in this entire goddamn game had any meaningful role to play. The only thing that ever comes up about your past is Lupin exists. And he's not even a big deal. Like, he just happens to be here and he's kind of an asshole. Thanks to the resub plot. Fucking world eater, I'm so excited. I can almost be done. At least for today. I'm still gonna do a few side quests before the moist meter. Because apparently a lot of the side quests don't even work. But I won't put you guys through more bio mutant. I'll do that on my own. Out of date thinks the time has come to end the conflict between the tribes. Oh no! No! You should know it's not too late to change direction by visiting another tribe's fort. However, it might be best to stick with the tribe you've chosen already. Fuck. He believes it'll take someone with a light perspective and key to counterbalance the Sifu's Fuck. energy in the end. Regardless of the outcome, you need to play your part and conclude the conquest. It'll be over soon. Out of date reminds you that the time has come to end the tribe war. He's happy to help. Seems right. surprised you have. Alright, it's fine. Son of a bitch. Okay. I'm level 12, that means I can, uh, put, put on my new outfit. Actually, while I'm here. That guy's just worthless, holy shit. It's shocking how useless the items are. It gives me a little extra health, but takes away all of my key. I agree with that, Rip. You can't really understand. Let's see. All right. I don't have any fast travel points to these two places. This is a disaster. Where is my closest fast travel point? Oh my god. 
Okay, this will have to do. Is this worse than Bal in Wonderland? No. Not even close. Bal in Wonderland is still probably the worst game of the year. Well, not probably. It actually is the worst game of the year. This is just bad. Or Bal in Wonderworld, whatever. Same shit. This was not even closer. This was just a bad idea ent entirely. Next to the Prime, Easy Rama. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not even close to as bad as Balan. Balan is a true, complete disaster with absolutely nothing of substance. This tried a lot of things and just didn't accomplish any of it. But it has very good ideas in it. It's not even close. The devs have great potential. That's exactly what I've been saying. This game isn't good, but I feel like their future projects will be. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Gina. That's fucking terrible. Is it Prime Rodney and the Reese of Diabetic James? Music is S tier. I've seen a couple people mention that they think the music in this game is great. I can't tell if that's a joke or not. Typically, like, at least in a game like this, there's usually good music. This game has the most forgettable soundtrack I've ever heard. For example, the music we were just hearing is a single violin with maybe four notes on repeat. We've heard it ten times now. And then there's this standard battle music. It's not good. Oh, you were the kidding. Gotcha. Outpost. The Jagni tribe first nested here long ago. I'll activate this while I'm here. This is an epic already. How it ends is up to you. Let's see. I, I, I'm skipping. I just can't do it anymore. Just get to it and destroy it. Oh, wrong way. Where's the last nest? There it is. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill this guy. Ugh. God damn it! Just 
Son of a bitch! I'm sorry to hear that, Davy. There's a lot more space down here than you would think. Nice work. No more moth's nest. There we are. There go the moths toward the outpost. They're good and mad. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. Woohoo! There's a prime Alec. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. He said that last time! Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Fuck. Okay. This guy just seems like an asshole. Why not just walk? You look good in that. Tribe gear? Oh my god. He says you did a great job capturing the rival second outpost. Okay, I believe this is the last thing I'll have to do. After this quest line, I should be done. Thanks to tier one, Hank man. Appreciate it. Welcome aboard. Fuck yeah. My man! Hank! Appreciate the tier one, bro. What the fuck is this? It's a battle to stay awake while playing this game. Alright, open this bitch up. I'm out. Where? Okay, let me try that again. Well, is it dead or like what's up with that? Okay. There he is. Good ride long. Tell it, no biting. Check out that shop area over there. Wonder what they used to sell. This is called Mini Boss Scavenger. What? Everything else is named Bumbly Dwarf and Whips and Tunkle Boss. Why is he just called Mini Boss Scavenger? Next to resub cryptic, cryptic Buddha. Forgot to change it for release. Maybe. Oh, 
Thanks, Resub 130. Erfidurf outpost. The Jagni tribe claimed this forever. Ah, Erfidurf. This was a very fierce battle. There's the tyrant who runs this outpost. He didn't expect his tribe to lose, as they're the ones that are ruthless. But now that you're working with their rival, he can see why. I'll persuade him to come to our side. Not sure if you're likable enough to just give up the outpost without a fight. He just realized a peaceful end to this would be best. He'll trust the outpost to Thank you. Thank God, I don't have to do another fight. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. Woohoo! That was climactic. I'm here for your outpost. He no. You Please? Weaker, okay. But they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. We're cruising. Get out full of bots in a hubble. What? Get a one thing. Thinks you did a great job capturing the rival's third outpost and believes the says. All right, last fucking component. Jesus Christ, let's go. Let's fucking get it. No, I can fast travel to this place. I know exactly where this is taking me. So this will be quick. Let's see. This is closer. Did you use mech? Yep, one time. Haven't used it since. Why didn't you just quit halfway? That sounds like something out of this game. Why didn't you give up? What drives you to keep moving forward and not fall victim to your past? How can you be so strong and persevere? Because I'm a fucking gamer, bro. That's why I didn't quit. Game's not good. Kind of fucking blows ass. But for the sake of the moist meter, I can do it. I can push through. That's the Jagni tribe's fault. Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war or part of the problem. They've been waiting for you. Let's go. Taking control of this fort. I don't care. Let's just go. They've positioned a storm tower near the I don't care about the plan. It's not going to change anything. It's gonna play out the exact same as every other fight in this fucking game. Is the only voice actor the narrator? No, there's two other voice actors for light and dark. But yeah, that's why everything is, um, what's it called? Uh, in second person. Punch the ticket.
Okay, okay, this was a mistake trying to ride this here. Best stories are about heroes. This is such a story. <laughs> I mean, okay. It's time to set the rival tribe free. Inflict as little damage as you need to unite. It sound like the zombies from World at War. Come on, baby, big speed. Stop it! Stop it! That's a fire starter. The dry grass looks like it would ignite. Thanks, very sub cordial. You just need to create a spark to light a fire. Burns brighter than the light. Stop it. Jesus Christ. Come on! Your rip. It's just not very heroes good. Are only heroes for others, but they do the work, or their heroes to no one. Thanks, Zuri Sub Witty. That's a pyro sizzler right there. Just get to work on it. Make it frizzle. Makes the prime hyper. I'm coming. The battering bonker looks like a great way to get through the gate. Bet you just need to knock and it'll open up. That's bonkers. I've got it. Here we go. We're in! The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. He didn't expect it would go down this way. It'll be hard to talk your way out of a fight. Okay, no watch me do it. To threats. Uh, 
He recognizes the strength of a good argument and agrees <laughs> to the best. Oh my fucking god. Jesus, I have negative points in persuasion and it still works. It'll be hard to avoid a fight. Can you just not fight? Sure, the yeah, fuck it. Take my fort. That's defeated, fine, I don't care. And the destiny of their tribe Jesus Christ. Name. You are free to choose their fate, but not free from the consequences of your choice. He'll leave it up to you to decide the fate of... Get in here! He's a, he's a good guy. He's a good boy. Thanks for Prime Silky and Shumina to and Hyper. To others when you can see that they need it. And with that, you're spinning your own fate. Good or bad, never to be undone. Wow. Side by side they'll stand until order and stability is reinstituted. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival. No, what? The tribe needs to take control of. No. That cannot be integral to finishing the game. No chance. No fucking way. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wong Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Uh, there's no way I have to fight Raymond Raving Rabbits. One step closer to uniting the tribes. I don't care about the fucking tribes. But he's still concerned about the fate of the world. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. This fucking sucks. Holy shit. You can't lose this war. If you get the ending wrong, the effort it took to get there was in vain. A proper ending, however, provides closure. He says you've grown so much stronger than when you... You know better the... Alright, let's go! Let's fucking get it! Claim the tribe's weapon! It's the Jagni staff. Wow. Look at that. Four thousand meters. Survive if someone is listening, so pay attention. Thanks the resub Sherbert and tweaked. Where is the fast travel point here? Oh my god. Is there any fast travel point here? Please don't make me fucking run it. Well. Thank god. Where is this? Oh, it was this one. Okay. Let's see. Alright, I have a kind of close one here at Mido. Thanks to Resub Shotwell and Electros. You misled me, Dankin. I thought I was almost at the end. I still have to unite every fucking dumb, goofy tribe here. The Bumbly Doffs need to somehow unite with the Myriads. Um, that one's 500. Let's just go there. Well, yeah, let's do that one. Ooh. 
Ugh. Just let me they persuade every camp instantly. Look at all those old hoes. You're still aboard your mount, which is probably a good sign. I'm here. There's the sovereign. He didn't ex. The outpost belongs to your tribe. Oh, thank God. Oh, I can do this for every outpost, it seems. He says you made them oh, weaker, Jesus. but they won't give up. Thank heavens. A Your break. Thanks you. This Your game is at its is best when you don't really have to play it. That is great. Alright, we're cruising. He says you did a great job capturing the up. Says you. Where's the exit? There it is. I think this 841 is going to be the right call. Go there and then go down. Don't trip it, just keep moving. Actually, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should just go do that one first. I, these two are really close to each other. Nah, let's do this one first, and then I'll go down. Will I play Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne? Uh, probably not. I know that came out today as well. Phones right now? Fuck no. The Rocco Block outpost. One of the places the Nectar tribe smashed together. <laughs> Fuck. Here's the first I can't persuade here. <sighs> okay, whatever. They're level 17, oh my god. Looking good, looking good. That's a bomb lover. That is 
spotted. Wrecked it. A barrel shoot. Smack it to get a. I know. That looks loady. Shoot it and watch it blow. Not too close, though. Kaboom. You're in. Keep going. Why does everything have to have a stupid name? It's kind of the charm. Oh, I forgot I got this staff. I wanted to try it. Can't imagine Here's it's better than my shit, though. Yep. Maybe it's better, I can't tell. Thanks to tier one spy. It's smoldering already. What am I doing? Jesus, I see it. Let's go. The outpost belongs to your tribe. All right. Two more. Oh my god. He says you made them weaker. Uh he won't give up. Dankin just hit me with the cold water. This isn't the last tribe, is it? The tribe is growing stronger. There's a tribe per region, isn't there? You did a great job capturing the out. So there's gonna be tribes up here, and then tribe over here, isn't there? Oh my God! Fuck! There's a tier one harp. This is turning out to be quite an expedition. It is indeed. Thank you, the five gift subs gauge. Yeah, fuck yeah. Thank you for the five gift subs, Grim Jr. Wow, fuck yeah. Thank you for the generosity. I appreciate it. And another five thing. Thank you, Gage. I appreciate it, man. Is the prime chassel? And the resub spriggin. 
After this tribe, you get a chance to skip the other two. Oh. Music. That sounds like actual music to my fucking ears. Next is a bit zero. And the tier one home biddy. The resub fishbowl. Popping off on the subs. Thank you for the generosity and welcome aboard. I'm the number one biomutant player. You need to point its face in the right direction. The Quirk Quarp outpost. The Necra tribe first beat this into Thank you the five goose subs uncut Nova. What? Oh. I'm getting them. Exit Prime Hunter and the bits Wank, Coach, and Panda. I am not enjoying the game. Get up there and get fixing. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Look up, not down. Whoa, I can glide with this. Stop. Looking pretty strong. There's the bit Saigon. It's a bit less black out there. Those hits have absolutely no sense of impact. That's what I said in the beginning. But that's become the least of my concerns. Oh, fuck. What? How the fuck do I get up there? Oh, I have to jump across from there. I don't know why I'm gonna bother. I don't know why I bothered. Yeah. How do we get to the roof? Oh, there they are. Legendary bunny bucket. What in the fuck? Oh, wow, you lucked out there. That's big. I'll put it on right now. Shit. That bunny bucket is nutty. Heads up. That looks nice. It looks real nice.
This is fine. All right, and now I'm ready. So how do I get across? Someone has to end this plague before it's too late. There's the prime Miyokimiya. I need bearded shroud. Hey, umbrella. In what game? There's no shooters that I really like right now. Oh, here we are. Holy shit, my combo game's insane! I'm stuck. Okay, he killed himself, I think. But I'm sure he's probably still alive down there and I have to go chase him down. Thanks, the resub Toast Malone. Just a few moves left. Make them count. All fixed up. All right. The arc shooters are already gearing up the hype. The outpost belongs to your tribe. Okay. God, I hope this is the last fucking it tribe. Made them weaker, but they won't give up. Uh, Your, thanks you. uh, Your tribe is growing stronger. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> thinks you did a yellow well, I think me. New days always start with hope. Thanks, the resubs snack. Is Neo considered a Souls game? A Souls like game, yeah. It's my favorite. Thanks to Resub Will Daily. I will absolutely be moist metering this game. They've been waiting. The plan is to fling. Thanks, the resub Raritis. Oh, I can only do it twice. No, there we go.
Next the prime Omiwa Shinderu. Heads up, that's Peak Spot, a great place to watch the world from. Who knows who might be watching you? Heroes inspire in a way nothing else can. Would you choose the Psycho Serum over playing this? No. That's something. I'd choose this over Psycho a Serum. A dinger from the yesterdays. A thingamabob used to pling signal the faraways. Let's find out if it still works. I thought Resident Evil 8 was good. Not as good as 7, but I, I did like it. There's a tier 1 lo-fi fox cat. I would choose this over Watch Dogs, yeah. That's better than Watch Dogs Legion. Let's go! We're really in there now! Let's go! That's a fire starter. The dry grass looks like it would ignite easily. You just need to create a spark to light a fire. It burns brighter than the light. <sighs> Foe. Jesus. Alright, big comboing. I'm fucking nuts. Thanks the resub, Mikey. It's time to do what's right for certain values of right. The battering bonk. Bet you just need to knock and it'll open up. That's bonkers. There's the prime, your sister, Fister. Values liberty and is striving to protect freedom. All right, let's see if I can convince this guy not to fight. Responsible for their own and believe that uniting the tribes is the only way you can survive. He was hoping it wouldn't end this way. There's no reason to fight instead of uniting. Yeah, I agree. He recognizes the strength of them. Yeah! That's how we do it! Diplomacy! 
The rival Sifu is defeated. Hello. You are free to choose their fate. But he'll leave it up to you to decide the fate. Thinks it's a good... And with that, side by side they'll stand until order and stability is reinstituted. He's gotten news that the other tribes have realized there are no winners in this war. There's no purpose in antagonism. Oh my god, thank you. Your tribe has grown strong. Oh. Thank it's heavens. Clear. Your efforts have been successful. There's light at the end of the I know. We're almost there. We're almost at the end of the game. We're the close. Tired of war and will remember the one who brought them peace, whether you decide it'll be now or later. So, do you want to end the war now or continue the crusade? I am so happy to end this early. He agrees. Better save your energy for something meaningful. Hello, friends. Yeah, let's do it together as a team. Woo! Hey. Thanks to the resub man. All right. Fuck yeah. Groovy. We're cruising now. It's the Netra Claw Chain. Is that any good? Or... The air is thinner in the mountains. I don't know why I did this. Oh, wait, fast travel. Is there a fast travel point here? Please tell me there is. Yes. Can I just fast travel from the map anywhere? Would have saved me some time. Didn't know that. Thanks to Resub Crank. Thought I could only do it when I was within range, but okay. Would have been a big time save, but we're good. Hey, just got to spend more time in the world, baby. I I gotta get a snack and tinkle. I we're we're almost there. I, I need a little more sustenance, and we can push through and finish this game. I'll be right back.
All right, now, now I'm fucking ready. I'm not playing around anymore. Coming in full throttle this time. Okay. Thanks to Prime Crimson. Thanks to Resub JS. The tribes are united out of date. Let's go! Out of date Thanks to Prime Rella. Of the, war, but there are more pressing matters at hand. the last world eater has been left undisturbed with the tree while you focused on the war. There wasn't a oh, war. Yes. He thought Jesus. someone with your light perspective and key would have had different priorities and faced the world eaters before resolving the crime. I was out of date is grateful the tribe war is over. Out of date understands the road has been rough. I tried to fucking end this game two hours ago, and this dumb asshole told me to go in the tribe war. You're the only one that's strong enough to face the last world eater. This makes no sense! The future depends on someone with a light perspective to give the world a chance to survive. Only time will tell what the future holds, and if it will bring it's a the prime peace for those that make it to the end. Oh, Mac Daddy. Out of date says the word about what you've done so far is spreading. The tribes haven't lost hope yet. He appreciates what you've done so far, but unfortunately, he's had urgent news <coughs> from his friend Wiz in the Northwest. He's unsure about your intentions, but hopes you'll support Wiz. He says he'll point you in the right direction. I appreciate that, Billy. Thank you. And sure, and making maybe sure then he gets what he needs. Maybe then we can do a tier list for it. That doesn't sound good. Out of date's hunch is real. The Merc Pop is up next. Yeah, I played it. It is good, Falcon. Out of date says that Wiz is worried now that the Northwest World Eater is stepping up its activity. He explains that Wiz is working on an undersurf vessel in order to get to the World Eater, but needs help to get it done. A submarine level sounds miserable. Can't wait. Out of date suggests that you should head northwest as fast as possible. And see what you can do. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, I guess maybe. To talk about it on the podcast. It's so bad. It's, it's just, it's bad. It's real bad. Yeah, we're gonna host another Smash tourney. Yep, Darkness I absolutely am. I want to do like an actual offline Smash tournament at some point at the warehouse. So, I, like, I really think the warehouse would be really cool for it. We set up, we're setting up a really cool spot for it. Like, uh, not specifically for it, but an area where it would be really cool. Warehouse is all under construction right now. Can't wait for everyone to see it when it's done. It's gonna be nutty.
Gonna make the Hundred Thieves compound look like dog shit. I'm just talking about some of the shit going on. Well, it's not for anything, just certain spots I think where things would work well. Who's the prime alchemist? Yeah, we all got vaccinated, uh, almost a month and a half ago. What do you think so far? Yeah, I hate it. I, I'm not trying to be super harsh on it. It's just gotten so, so, so fucking tedious. I understand it's their first game, and like I said, I expect their next games are going to be good, but this one is not. Oh god, come on. You need to show your mount who's boss. Makes the resub suspiciously missing sock. Mm. What would be the one redeeming aspect of the game in your opinion? The style. Like the game's pretty. The game's very pretty. I like the character design. That's as far as the compliments go. Like, I wish you could have at least had a good story, but it's the dumbest fucking story I've heard since Kingdom Hearts 3. Three sub Uber muffins. Yeah, THQ used to be huge. They were like the premier developer for a while. Not anymore, obviously. The Moly Hole Outpost, an old Pichu tribe hole in the wall. Don't do this to me. Is the resub weedle? The surge surf factory. Keep your eye out for whiz while you're here. I need to piss on that. Let's see.
I wonder if Wiz is gonna mention anything about me as a kidling, and the spark, and how good of a person I was as a kidling, and that it doesn't seem like I've lost that spark. Wiz isn't easy on the tongue. We'll see. I think he says he's happy to see a friendly face. Not too many of those around these days. Says it's good to see you again. He's Wiz. You might remember him from the old days when he ah, tried his octopod. Of course. Wiz remembers you were such a cheery kid, and he's glad I can't to see believe that it. light hasn't faded from you, despite the years. But Wiz understands it was a long time ago, and memories get murkier the deeper you go. But Crazy. it helps to have friends with you to plumb those depths. He set up camp at the foot of the Tree of Life. It's gotten more difficult for it to find defenseless prey as it's already eaten most of them. Wiz says our memory keeps things for us, preserves them. Oh, it's super well, thank you, Fihar. Them again. I really appreciate it. He knows you've returned to face Looper Lupin, and that confrontation He's is already dead. Yeah. As the tides. Yeah. He's not surprised that the loss of your family could plunge you into it's the It's time to move on from your past. You've always been able to memories the to the are very important. No what. The past, the memories. That though the tides of history may push you in one direction, ultimately it's your choice. You were the one to be wronged and have lived with the consequences. He believes in consequence as it's a direct result of action. Come toward the light. Slow down. <clears throat> Why would you rush? <clears throat> you see what you want? Well, what about? <laughs> Asks if you ever think about freedom and whether any. Maybe that's true for you, but he's not amazed the world is going to. Impressed that you fought so. <laughs> Thinks you were smart to join with the myriad. They have a rainbow of. <laughs> but that. Whistling. <laughs> This is why he's tinker tonkering with my memory. All right, just go. Holy shit! Just I can't keep dealing with the same fucking dialogue over and over. It's crazy. Where did all of the development time go? Because quite literally, every character says the exact same thing. It is the exact same dialogue. Every single and every single objective is exactly the same. It's Your where did it go? On the path you'll take to avoid it. There isn't even, like, minor differences. Thanks for the thousand bits, Fihar, and the resub caboose. I don't think I'll be playing too many sports games, to be honest with you. Thanks for the five gift subs, ATV. Appreciate the generosity. I honestly think most of the budget and time went to marketing, because this shit was marketed to fuck all and back. The amount of times I've been asked if I'm going to be playing this game and the amount of people that were misled into thinking that it's something that it's not is crazy. I don't think half of the people expected this game to be as childish as it is. This is very, very much a game for children. Just the place to ride out a storm. Oh, I'm gonna die in here. Thanks for some squirrel guy. Oh, sweet. Well, thank you, CRW. And the resub, Fihar. Can you fast travel to objective? No, it has to be to a place I've pissed on. Thanks with Prime Kaidas. This could have been the Spyro for the younger generation. I think kids will be fine with it. This even though half feet. of the features don't it's fucking work. Thing. It's not but slippery. for a kid, I don't think that's going to matter that much.
But yeah, that is a good point. There is way too much dialogue for a kid to enjoy. Plus, exploring the open world is the worst thing ever. It's the most empty open world I've ever seen. Somehow more empty and hollow than fucking Watch Dogs. But I would prefer this over Watch Dogs any day. Thanks the Prime Kotsky. And the narrator never shuts the fuck up and it's constant dialogue. So yeah, maybe kids wouldn't like it either. I don't know. Yeah, I know, Fihar. Thanks for the bits, Dime. This is one of the rare strand-type games. Maybe the five good subs, ATB. Thank you for the generosity. something to it. Gorilla mini boss. Thanks, Arisa Joshiv. Another thing I've noticed, there's only been a single cutscene, and that was the intro. Like an actual cutscene, which was the intro. And I think, if I remember correctly, didn't the trailer have like multiple cutscenes? Where it looked really impressive? There's only been a single cutscene in this entire game. Don't want to point a finger, but the Mecha Stadium is near here. Couldn't just be open, eh? That's more than stuff. Well, where do I unlock it? There it is. I walked right by it. Few moves left. Make them count. All right, let's go. Fucking cooking now. You need to loosen the bolts without unsettling it. I, I can't see the colors on these at all. Okay. <laughs> all right. That's it. The we got it. Twisters loose. Let's hope it turned the grabbing hand into a helping hand too. That's pretty cool. Thanks for the gift sub, Icarus. How much damage does it do? Not much. Decent bit, but not as much as just attacking. Ah, oh, luckily I only have to slowly fucking wiggle my fingers over 800 meters away. We'll be there soon. Thanks to resub mod Zio. Place. Probably cleaned out, but you never know. Go make the most of the day. All right. Just have to fucking Adam's family my way for the next 30 minutes to the guy. 
Hey, thanks for the 10 gift subs, Alex Steele. And the resub, Hip Hop Hippotamus. Oh, no, wait. God, don't tell me. Oh, we're good. We're fucking good. Thought I was supposed to be on top of that mountain. Thanks to the resub angel genocide and the prime anime milf. Bang shelter 11 E. Just the place to ride out a storm. Thanks to the prime griff dog. Almost there. We are entering cruise control. There are no sound effects in the game. The music's really quiet as well. But I also don't feel like turning it up. But yeah, there's actually just no sound effects. Hello, Rizzy. That was a good quest. I went, I opened a door, and then I brought a hand back a thousand meters. Right a thousand meters, and then slowly walk back a thousand meters. One of my favorites so far. All share this. <clears throat> he believed the tug twister would do the trick, but now realized. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Jesus Christ. Okay, luckily I have a kind of close fast travel point. Thanks for the resub, Fobsy. Uh, have I tried the new Subnautica? No, and I don't need to now that I'm playing Biomutant. I'm about to go on my own little underwater adventure. And it'll be so much better than that garbage Subnautica. This is a real underwater adventure. Thanks for the resub, Jack V. I do not want to do this guy's fucking side quest. Stop bringing him into every single one of my paths. I don't care about him. I don't want to do it. Don't. Oh, God. Let's go! You get flight from him? I don't care. I just, I don't care.
I'm almost done with it. We have to finish it. And then I have to do some side quests. Some were actually trying to build something before it all Thanks, the bit's acid. <laughs> God damn it. He just gives your grasshopper free upgrades. Oh. What has my grasshopper done? At all? Ever? I got the grasshopper and it's supposed to be a big deal and he hasn't actually done anything. He hasn't even interacted at all with anything I've done so far. Bet you can find Choo Choo here. I wonder if he's gonna bring up my past as well as my light. Maybe he senses something good inside of me in this hopeless world. But will I save it or destroy it, he wonders. Choo Choo knew you would make it to him one day. All you had to do was follow the steel path. The rails might be getting rusty. Choo 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 claims rails are like rules. If you follow them the way you're Thanks supposed bit, to, DK. everything good in life can roll your way. Says you followed the rails to where you need to be, but tracks have switches in them too. The question is then, will you keep on the same no, track no, or no. look for a way to hit that switch? We'll stay on the same track. I want forgiveness. You seem like you're on the right track already. He just hopes you don't get sidetracked onto a darker path. Whichever way you go, he wants you to know that the rails never steer you wrong. Fuck yeah. Stick to them and they always Thanks, sub, Jim Joe. right to where you're meant to be. Wants to know if you've ever regretted taking <clears throat> one track in life instead of another. If you could go back, would you Every single fucking one of these is the same. The way you keep at it. Holy like shit. Chug chug with no way to reverse. Seems like the world came out of its rut and is chugging toward higher ground again. Can't thank you enough for hitting the brakes and working to turn the world chug around. But let's not get derailed. Says he's surprised to see anyone this far out. But sometimes the wrong train does take you to the right station. As you can see, he didn't plan to make a stop here, but now that he had to, he's really happy to see you. He says his name is Choo Choo. He's been off track since the world started dying, but he says sometimes life runs off the rails, but it's always better when they're good. Okay, that's more than enough. It's you only say that doesn't no. Oh my god, what did I come... Oh my god. A thousand meters back. So much tedious fetching. Thanks to the resub blanket. Two more quests counting this one and you fight the last two bosses and you're done. Oh, thank god. I have not been to Milwaukee. No, never. Not even accidentally. Next to Resub Monkey Man and the Bits Whiskey. Wingnut Chug Tunnel. It goes on forever. Oh, 
How do I get up there? Okay, okay, I think this is the right way. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Thanks, Resub Wank. Hmm. Oh. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Return to Choo Choo. Do, oh, did it, I don't even recall picking something up. All right, this is what I'm fucking talking about. This is it. We're really cruising. Choo Choo says he knew you'd come through. If someone makes a stop at your station, it's... He keeps it safe in a box on the... It cautions you. Will be. Let's go. A grease sprinkler. Holy shit! You shouldn't worry about spoiling. He believes you've got what it takes to make a difference. He's Choo Choo's thrilled you found the Ark. Needs no rails. The world says he's happy to see. Wonders who you might. Get on board the Ark. Let's go, Choo Choo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Has plenty to. All right. I can't I can't handle going through the dialogue anymore. It's quite literally the same dialogue every single fucking time. It doesn't change. Every character says the exact same lines. I I can't just keep listening to it ad nauseum. It is quite literally the exact same dialogue every single time it's cr it's actually crazy oh all right let's go this is the requiem for a dream soundtrack Wiz says that the same no notes plan to confront the Merc Puff until the Octopod is properly armed. Yeah, it needs infinite ammunition, doesn't it? Which means I need to go collect five you little things to put in there. That packs enough boom yep, to put just tell me what animal it needs to be. Or better yet, head. Ah, uh, pyro sticks. The trick. Five of those, correct, for infinite ammo? Makes all things that go bang. There's a rumor that some of Boom's pyro sticks shot off and are out there roaming free. You should keep an eye on the horizon for- Alright, let's go get the pyro sticks, that way we can have infinite ammo. Because we're not allowed to fight it without that. So I need to collect five pyro sticks, bring them back, he's gonna give us infinite ammo and send us on our way. And then we're gonna get to shoot 
five little sacks, stun the boss, then do some kind of right click ability. And that should be that. Time to get a move on before all your chances slip on by. Oh god. There's a tier one wag. Don't forget the past. Yeah, true. I almost forgot the past for a second. There's the prime Cody Jack. Oh god. There is a fume foundry where toxinol processed go juice. This is a radioactive zone. It's not healthy to go too far in without protection. It's a farty bulb applaud. Oh no. Thanks, the resub fizzy strings and garbage ass and Zimdo and the prime extreme guy. That's a bang plant where Toxanol used to make all sorts of splody things before it blew up in their faces. Here's the prime chameleon hat. <clears throat> it's pretty good, Hyper Mormon. It is pretty good. <clears throat> Outstanding, even. Okay, where's the right way to get in? There's a prime dig Roz. Okay, what the fuck? I see. Hiya, take this! I've got you now! Hiya! Oh yeah! And then some of this! That'll teach ya. That crack is so satisfying. The 
The world is full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. That looks like an unbanged pyro stick on the loose. Better catch it before it goes does. off. Whoa! I gotta catch these pyro stacks quick! Oh no! Oh, only three this time. Well. Got it. All right, now we get infinite ammo on our submarine. And then we go fight the Merc Puff. Sticks will cause a bang, but targeting is on you. At least now you have a chance to hurt the Merc Puff where it He hopes so, as there's no Plan B, or more correctly, Plan C. Out of date has named this Plan B. Plan A was to take on the World Eaters by foot, or flaps in this case. Turns out swimming down there was a bad idea. <sighs> Wiz has been working on another cannon, but instead of pyro sticks, it squirts guppos, scaly distractions for any with an appetite disorder, and irresistible for the Merc Puff in particular. Thanks, Risha Brotweiler. Seems the best way to find guppos is go talk Lisa to Gandalf. Gandalf. He has a natural sonar and knows where the guppos sub the surf. This means you'll have to go visit Gil at Verbal Bottom. Find Gil and he'll be able to tell you where to find the guppos. It's fucking painful. Exit Prime, Firmrin, the resub Con Air on DVD. Too. They're here, there and everywhere. Or at least they used to be. How? How? How is this one still going? This one finally broke the mold of all of the other fucking main quests by making me do an extra step. Shocking. Shocking. <sighs> Alright. Let's go get the squirting guppos. It's beyond late. <sighs> Is it all fetch quests? Yes. Yes, that's not an exaggeration. The entire game, top to bottom, start to finish, all of it, side quests. Or, sorry, fetch quests. Even when you're taking control of a fucking camp, you're basically just going to grab these three things and set them on fire. That's it. It's so fucking awful. We are so close! Come on! I need to resub stressed ham. What about boss fights? 
Every boss fight's the same fight. There's five little red sacks that you shoot, they pop, then they open their mouth or something, and you press right click and keep tapping it, and then you do a little extra damage. Rinse and repeat for the entire fight. We'll see if this one's different. They've broken the mold here. This is five fetch quests in a single storyline for the main. So, anything's possible. Usually it's only three. Hey, Gil. Thanks for the resub, Whiskey. Thanks for the resub, Hazana. Let's see. The land teems with light. I wonder if Gil's gonna make statements about light and dark and good and evil. Oh, you look like such a good kid. To meet you. He's seen a lot of things wash up on his miniature shore, but nothing as exciting as you. Figures it's impossible. As bad as the air might be, the goo is even worse. It must have been upstream only to get to this point in your histo future. But which, which way are you going? going? Are you going to be good or evil? Or against? Do you regret any of your decisions? Do you remember your past? It's crazy hard to flipper against the surf, but you can't save the world if you let it sweep you away. Either way, it's a shame the surf has gotten so nasty. Thinks life is like trying to ride a wave. You need to pick the right one, but you don't really know which one that is until you're on top of it. Better to ride a wave than let the perfect one pass you by. When you're right, you're right. Wonders who would want to. The right wave takes you where you want to go. Can't imagine how wonderful it's going to be to surf on ghoulous goo. The world is going to live. Can't thank you enough for fighting against the goo. Kind of like a train taking you to the right track. No! They bring a real oh, it's super different. They work with. Do you regret any of the waves you've surfed up until this point? Wish you took a different wave? But none of that's nearly as important as enjoying the day, right? That's true. He never drank from this pond because of the disgusting things done there. Wouldn't have accused you of it. Doesn't look like a good drinking pond. Drinking here after the pollution made the surf mucked and the air blocked his gills. He figures the Tree of Life isn't drinking either. Or, well, that's not true. He said it does drink, as it has no other choice. It's a tree, but it's full. Claims the surf is poison now. Anything that drinks it becomes poison too, including the Tree of Life. He just sent it to me on Twitter, Kendra. Thanks for your sub user. Another, and Gil is ready to point you in the right direction. But here, you're only going to find dead ones. He's pretty sure Wiz wants them alive. Well, at least the ones that aren't already rotting. <laughs> if you head in the right direction, you'll find a clean enough bit of surf to snag yourself some gum. Helping both you and Wiz makes him double happy. Oh, fuck yeah, Gil. Let's go. It's closer to the... Yeah, it's closer to this. The fuck did we get from that? It's all about uh, being happy with where you're at. And not being too hung up about where you've been, because it's all about moving forward. Some things will sleep soon. Others are waking up. Kind of like Gil and his goo. Or a train leading you down the right track. This was the wrong call. There's no bridge here. But why would there be? I wouldn't learn anything if there was.
We can make it! Please! Oh my god. Okay. Not at all, David. Not even a little bit. No chance I make this. We'll see. I don't know, I'm kinda nutty. I made it. That there's the guppy hut. Might be some gill catching gear in there. I am having a good good amount of fun with this one, Hollywood. Yes, this has been very good. Very good. This game is like it's written by Darman, so it feels great. You're good, but you could be evil. But why not be good? Don't judge a good by its cover. This is Guppy Grotto. All right, I'm in. The oil claimed this land a long time ago. Oh, what am I doing? There's of course going to be a panel that I have to hack. There she is. Nice. Thanks to the prime ship ship interest. <laughs> Here's the five things I was supposed to catch. The guppos. Now this will give me unlimited ammo for my submarine. So that way I can fight the Merc Puff. Thanks, Soli Flare. I would never recommend this game to anyone. I, I really wouldn't. At $60, absolutely fucking not. Nothing simple. Oh, where's the hack panel? Is the resub Papa Dong? Oh, these are all correct. Just a few moves left. Make them count. There we go. I don't need loot. Enjoy the darkness while it lasts. There's gonna be some shadow pig. Oh my god. Just a few moves left. Make them count. I don't know, Whiskey. I don't know what the fuck happened with this game. I really have no idea. Every character says the exact same thing. The, the story hasn't done anything. Such an emphasis on the past when that's been completely meaningless. Like, I, don't, I don't know. This game is a mess. It's an absolute fucking mess. Let's go!
That's the last component. Now we get infinite ammo on this submarine, I'm sure. And he drops us in. We fight Merc Puff. Let's go. Guppos engaged. That seems to be enough guppos to provide the pod with infinite ammunition. He's surprised the Merc Puff's been able to hold its breath all this time. It's just another proof of the evolutionary change caused by Toxanol's contamination. Being underserved, the saw. Merc Puff has been left alone to munch on the root down there undisturbed. This means the northwest root has suffered more damage than the... The marks the corporation left behind on the land are everywhere. But they also abandon technology, <sighs> of which he's sure you only found a fraction. Oh my god. Here I come. Okay, I'm gonna pee pee. I'll be right back. Um. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. This one's different. There's not five little uh, sacks to blow up. I can't believe it. Oh. 
Here's the resub Osmundo. Let's go! We've got him now. Merc Puff destroyed. The tree of life can be safe once again. Like a train on the railroad tracks, it takes you right where you want to go. Like some goo and a wave. But you never know what's the right wave until you're on it. That was the last of them. You sealed the fate of the tribe and the tree. It's time for the end game. You have your destiny. Follow it all the way back to out of date. He never told anyone about what's next, but he's sure it involves you. Thanks, there is some Westony. I just go just in there and execute to stay him. True to yourself and respect others, whatever happens. You've become their pride, the guiding light of the tribe. You're right. It's time to return to the tree one last time. Hey, you want to come on the ark? He's learned you discovered and activated the last of the ark. Just imagine how much more of you fought well for the world. You can be Thanks proud of the them, no matter what. <clears throat> Questions if you could possibly have any open spaces left for fellow travelers on that arc. Oh, absolutely, Wiz. Get in here. Get get in here. Thanks to Prime Grestini. Almost can't Says you should take Alright. Let's fucking finish it. Here's the resub try hard tubby. Nothing like light to brighten your day. Here we go. Out of date says the signs of the end of the world are everywhere. Thanks, it said seems nature Professor is Knox. to take revenge. The day of reckoning is coming, and you are invited. He can feel you're approaching the end date. I'm sure of your intentions. What will you do? Will you, you save or destroy? If you whom of all like-minded, light-hearted beings you've met have earned a seat on the Ark yet, it's time to do that now. I've done that. Then grasp your last chance to make sure Lupa Lupin stopped for good. The tree settled its score, but it left yours 
half done. Thanks to the resub, Sam Toledo. He says you need to see Lupa Lupin eye to eye one last time. He's happy to help. Says you should take it easy. Well, might as well spend all the upgrades. All right, what do we want? None of that. Never even use that. None of that. No. <laughs> Never use that either. I have never once gotten this to work. I have tried so many times and it has never once fucking worked. Ugh. Pretty good. I'm ready now. The, uh, again, I will say, this game is absolutely not worth 60 bucks. 30 at most. It is not good. Don't look that beasty in the sears. What's motivating you to keep playing it? Moist meter. <laughs> That's literally it. If I if I didn't do moist meters, I would have stopped this game five hours ago. Quite genuinely, after the first hour, you have seen everything this game has. Every quest starts to repeat itself. The dialogue doesn't change. It's literally the same things over and over again. And the enemies have a single attack pattern. Every single enemy has the exact same attacks. Save for maybe two or three. So you see the entire game after an hour. You experience everything it has to offer. There's the Prime Brewer. This is not a random indie game. This is a triple-A game. Thanks for some Mariner. He hasn't forgotten what Looper Lupin did, but he also wants to stop him from attacking his tribe. That the world seems to survive. Uh, double A, triple A, whatever, same thing. It's not indie. He hopes you agree, even if it goes against your light-hearted nature. There's no room for predators in the world the Myriad tribe is building. But he knows this is your fight. You should handle it. Looper Lupin's own fear was his shackles, not the roots of the tree. It just changed him. You have a chance to stand back and let the tribe oh. handle it. Do I just let the tribe hit? They're not even doing damage! Let the tribe handle it. Fuck this. Ooh. I'm not gonna wait 30 minutes for this. Holy shit.
Alright, he's popping off. Jesus. The seat is ready to step into the frame. I'll be honest about the change in your favor. Oh, Sifu coming in hot. No. I wonder, is staff better? Oh. No! Sifu! <gasps> Sifu! No! If a friend dies, something inside like you dies. You can save the Sifu by making yourself a target. You're up. God damn it! Let's try this weapon in. God damn it. Almost there. Oh boy. I'm stuck. You should have never hurt Sifu. I got him. Shockwaves spread when the world crumbles. This is not a prophecy. Me telling you about the future. Makes you should butt you sniff. Shaping it. Oh, it's gonna be high select, that's for sure. Here's a vulgar display of power. Here we go. I'm assuming he has to destroy all of these. Oh, what the fuck? Nope, that didn't do anything. It's just an entire another phase, I guess.
What? God damn it, Lupin! Mr. Perry. Son of a bitch! Not working. I'm assuming I can't parry it. the prime Jimmy or the gifts up Jimmy and the resub Miko and Fargo what come on You gotta be fucking kidding me! Lupin! The more he does, the stronger he becomes. What? The more he does, the stronger he becomes. That's pretty profound. is pretty rough. Oh. Jesus Christ, I can't move. Lupin's going wild right now. Thanks for the bits, Coles. Oh my god. I can't. Can't do anything.
can't parry anything against this guy. They still eat the whole damage. Thanks to get some boohoo. Oh wow. Oh my god. Ah, I just missed. Good teleport! I can't... Okay, can't move. What is happening? What is happening? I'm coming in. Holy Jesus Christ. Box toss seems pretty good. Oh, wow. Do returnal. Nah, I'm not going to do any more returnal. It was fun though. Still had that crazy fucking god run. I can't move. <laughs> Looking good. Oh, Jesus Christ! Three sub dredgen. It's time you remember who the real enemy is and stop playing the game his way. What? What does that even mean? Fox toss is busted. Predator on the world itself suffering, but at least it's a sign there. What was my other option? Alive. Well, like, what do you mean? Remember who the real enemy so, is. What we have here is a clear matter of life and death. Oh. And only you can make a difference. Wow, yeah, is it tough? You continue to make bad decisions and mistakes. Thanks to Prime Jiggles and the Reset Nocturnes. It's easy to make a good decision when there's only one option. The only mistake here is you. 
My mistake is letting you speak. My conviction is that the world would be a better place without your voice. Convincing yourself doesn't win the argument. <laughs> In the end, we won't remember the words of our enemies, but the silences of our friends. The weak can't forgive. Forgiveness is a strength. It's not all life and death. Okay. It's no better time than now. To He's alive, Sifu. Thanks, Zuri Sub Man Pig Bar. Hey, I never talked Do to that you guy. Wonder what turn life might have taken if you Oh, he's the narrator. A left when you went right. Wow. A yes when you said no. You've walked the thin line between survival and disaster and haven't lost your balance yet. It's because of you the tree of life and the world has been given a second chance. You carried the light in a world full of dark and made a difference in a place that needed change. Wow. You allied with the Myriad tribe and acted on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. However, light and dark does simply represent the polarities of life. One can't exist without the other. This isn't the end. Just being so no, it is. Yeah, no, I've, I'm done playing it. it. Will oh, I'm just going to do some side quests. Nature will teach us Be how done. to survive. So, trust your conscience to show you the way, and everything else will follow. Follow your conscience, okay. Quick, everyone, to the Ark! As foretold, you were destined to split the chains of this world. But you're not alone. You filled the Ark, and those Thanks that shared your perspective and gained your trust will accompany you on your journey. Is the prime pug face? Is there a world out there that's better <clears throat> suited for those imbalanced in their life nature than this one? Whether or not, we'll leave your story on record, so those who come after will know you followed your life nature what? and saved the world. So, when all is said and done, it turned out to be an unusual ending after all. What could be better? than ending the story what? the right way. Ending it your way. A beginning of something new. What? You've saved the world, and now let's go to space. Uh, yeah, it's pretty not good. Uh, yeah, that wasn't very fun. I have no doubt this team will create great games in the future, but this was not one of them. Every single quest was a fetch quest. That's disingenuous. 90% of the quests were a fetch quest. The other 10% were the boss fights where it said kill this boss now. Every boss fought pretty much the exact same way. All the world eaters were mainly just hit these red sacks and then hit right click. God, it was fucking awful. All the dialogue was the exact same things every single time. Every character said the same fucking things as every other character before them. 
Story was nonsensical. Oh, that wasn't very good. The th main thing this game has going for it, though, is its aesthetic. aesthetic. It has great style. But that's pretty much it. Other than that, it's not good. It's really not. That's a shame. With all the hype around it, I kind of did have some pretty big expectations. I, I was thinking it was going to be good. And it wasn't at all. Now, did the trailer have more, like, cutscenes in it? Because this, the game itself only had one cutscene. And that was in the intro. Thanks for the tier one Squanto and the 10 gift subs again, Laggy. Thank you, Laggy. It's all good, Evan. Not your fault, man. I'm watching some of the Biomutant trailers. No, it didn't have any, like, cinematics other than that intro one. Everything else looks straight in-game. Well, that intro cinematic was the best thing about the game. <sighs> maybe if you rode the right wave, you would have liked the game. Yeah, maybe my train tracks just didn't go to the right spot. Yeah, like I said, the visuals, the actual style of it is the only good thing about it. No, I'm going to keep streaming. Uh, I don't know what yet, but we'll keep doing something. Thanks to Prime Vrixen. You didn't seem to get any actual mutations. I did, they just didn't do anything. They were really fucking bad. The only one that did anything was that Pink Wisps, which I only really used one time because it barely did anything. It was more of a wave thing. But by the end game, I could just use the staff. Thanks to the Prime Kaiseri. I did finish the game. Just finished it. 8 hours, 20 minutes. I beelined the main quest, though. I think I only did one side quest, to be fair. Thanks for the bits, Mojo Sticky. Quick text message. How likely are you to recommend the game? I actually wouldn't recommend this game to anybody at its current price. Even at $30, I would be very hesitant to recommend it. But $30 would be a lot more reasonable. Switch to YouTube net nah, no YouTube tonight. We can do YouTube tomorrow night. It's already ten o'clock. I 
I appreciate that. Well, thank you, Beefy. Thanks for the big Tim. <clears throat> Phasmophobia was a lot of fun, but none of my friends really play it anymore. You streamed till 4 a.m. last night. You are correct. I did do that. Knockout City or Apex? Knockout City sounds pretty good right now. Are you playing? Are you playing right now, Dankin? It's the resub scaly one. Okay, well, message me when you're getting on, and I'll let you know, Dankin. Man. Real shame. But I am excited to see what this studio does in the future. He's the prime cool guy. Alright. Oh. Yeah, there's New Game Plus. I mean, it's, of course, there's going to be New Game Plus. Any new crypto you bought recently? Nope. You gonna try Nocturne? Probably not. I did just finish Biomutant. I'm gonna take a shit. I'll be right back.
I'm back, team. Oh, thanks to the Reese of Brokefoot, Capo, and Cowboy. What's a game where you can create animal characters like Biomutant that you actually recommend it? Bro, just go look up furry porn. You don't need a game for it. Don't spend $60 just because you can make some furries in that game. It's, I mean, it's right there at your fingertips and free. I guess there's Spore. I, yeah, I guess that works. Not at all, Beta. Not at all. Hmm. Have you played Katana Zero? No. I don't know why people keep recommending that. That's not really a genre that I'm a huge fan of. That's the uh, 2D side-scrolling one, right? Yeah. I don't, when have you guys ever even seen me play a game in this genre on stream? I'm pretty sure I've never played one. Because I've been tired of them for like 10 years. I have no doubt that the game's probably good, but I'm just not really into it anymore. Biomutant was not good. Not good. What ending did you choose for the most recent playthrough of Sekiro? The uh, dragon homecoming to do all the bosses. You gonna play Terraria? Nope. No, I am not going to play Terraria. Uh huh. I played all the Sly Coopers. I streamed Sly Cooper on YouTube a while back. Favorite Tony Hawk game? I have to really think about it. I liked all the old Tony Hawk games. Why do you keep asking, does he read donations? I clearly just read the chat. Why don't you just type in the chat? You don't have to pay for it. Are you going to play Skyward Sword when it comes up? Yeah, I've actually never played Skyward Sword. I never had a Wii. So I will definitely be playing that when that comes up. I'm not going to start another new game today. I don't know why people are recommending games I've never played before. That's not happening. I just played through all of Biomutant. Thanks for some salty grumps. And the Prime Chody.
Thanks to the Prime. Max Cold and Resub Smoke a Lot. And the Prime Slighterer. Have I watched the Cost of Concordia documentary? Yes. Yes, I have. Is YouTube night tomorrow? Maybe. We'll see. Thanks for the resub, Robin. Okay, we can do some Knockout City then. Let's see how good you actually are, Dankin. Because I was fucking nutty at this game. Thanks to the resub, Baby Jewel. I bet I fucking carry. Thanks to the gift sub, Steve. You also doubted Mike. True, I have learned my lesson. What? How many games are in your Steam library? Like 700 something? What's up, baby boy? Are you ready to rumble? I'm ready. You better be as good as you claim. I mean, I haven't played this shit in like three days, so I'm probably gonna suck ass, but... Do we have a third? I think Scoots is doing a, the Destiny raid. Uh, we do or... not have a third. Alright, we can just run this duo then. Yeah. To the we don't even need teams. Baby. We'll be fine. The lead play. The I already forgot to play this game. To for play. Check it out in the play yep, we finished by a mutant. Alright, so how do I join you? Um, uh, here. That's a good question. Oh, how do I invite you to the game? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, yes, of course. Oh, here. Your friends and any brawlers you meet on the street show up here in the social menus. Select a player card to make friends, group up, mute, or report. Do I not have you members. on, uh... I think this is Origin. I think you said like and throw up. Uh, no, the prime map. Yeah, we're at it on Origin. I did not get anything though. Are you playing on Dankin OnlyFans or a different account? No. Thanks for using Uzi Fort. Uzi Vert in the resub spurs. It says you're offline too. What is yours? It's just Dankin Twitch. But you're Big Moist 100, right? I got you. Oops. All right, I sent you a friend there request. There it is. Thanks to resub, schmuck. Alright, I'm joining. Nice. Let's fucking go. For a fun variety of playlists that change out every few weeks. Oh Check shit, look at your play. pay to win skins, okay. Oh my god, we're not ranked 10 yet. Or you're not ranked what? 10. Oh, just, rank is what, what rank am I? Private matches for playing with oh, I'm 7. Only, or even gotta win, like, yeah, alright, alright, alright. Gonna stomp Complete contracts to earn tons of XP. Yeah. Contracts can only be completed in street play and league play. And you gotta finish each match to keep your progress. Well Check shit, if I knew that I would have been grinding that so Final Fantasy. Fantasy. It's fucking fun. Have you been playing Final Fantasy 14? Dude, I've been a addicted to that game. I've been doing nothing but that the entire time while you're playing Biomutant. It's fun. Like did you start from scratch or have you been playing? Uh I've been playing on and off for like three years but i just like 
I didn't get into it until the first expansion, which is when like the game gets good, which is kind of stupid because it's like that's like 200 hours of gameplay before it actually gets good. But when it gets good, it gets really good. Like in my opinion, it's probably like the <laughs> best. Sorry to hear MMO. that, Austin. Would it be an MMO I'd like? You think? No, not at all. That is what everyone says. Everyone's like, it's fucking great, but Charlie, you'd hate it. It's because it's mainly story focused. It has Ooh. really good raids, but it's also like extremely story focused. Round one. Like you have to do uh, the story. Oh, what the fuck? Damn, I tried to get him with a slow ball. Fuck. Alright, his team's kinda nutty. Thanks for resubbing no one. I'm getting shit on. Yeah, his team's kinda nuts. Alright, it's starting to lag now too. Not good. Okay. Got one. How did- I don't know how I didn't catch that. Fuck! Too slow. Thanks to Prime Useless Banana in Kinfinite. Got one. Charlie, I'm popping off. Ah, I see the train is an insta kill. Oh. Did How you... do you uh, fake out the ball again? F. Okay. I'm I just thought it. Random buttons right now. I thought it would be like that big. Oh. Our teammates AFK, by the way. Oh, never mind. They just came oh. back. God damn. Hey, why is it lagging so hard right now too? Dude, this T-Bone guy's insane. He's actually pro. Thanks the resub gickle. Uh, it's not locking on. Okay. Uh, all right, I don't understand what's happening. Gold team wins. That was sad. That was your teammate, was it? Oh, maybe you're right. Why was his name not over his head? It was? I didn't see it at all. Ugh, wrong way. Oh, played. Oh, I'm going nuts. Nice. Oh. Thanks, there you said blue juice. Oh. Now we're popping off, okay. Team's kind of dog shit. These guys aren't very good. Oh, uh, the train is an instant kill. You're not wrong. Yeah. God, that huge fake. 
Unlucky. Embarrassing. Thanks, I give some Thule and Larissa blue juice and major depression. You can roll under the train. Yucky! Yeah, okay, you suck. I hit the wrong button. I meant to dash, but I accidentally balled. Easy. Yeah, the enemy team sucks. We just didn't know how to play at first. Well, it was also very laggy in that first game. Right, right, right. Hey, well, good luck out there, Gecko. Thanks for the ball, idiot. Damn. I'm insane. I gave that guy so much to fucking think about during that. Damn it. Mm. Don't fuck this up. Ah. Why'd you knock him out of the way? No, the ball. I... He actually just outplayed me. Nice. That guy even has a pay to win skin. Ugh, sleep well. God, Rain. look at that MVP. You'll have to see it. Probably not by much, though. Let's see. Okay, let's check the stats. Where are those at? Ooh, 16 KOs to my 12. Mm. But I had significantly more assists. Uh, well, I mean, that tends to happen if I have more kills, but... Well, that means that you were finishing my kills. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sure, sure, sure. I am in a moist meter biomutant. I'm not going to spoil it, but it's not going to be high. I can tell you that. It was kind of dog ass. We're going to do rank the second he hits level 10. Charlie, are you a fully vaccinated man? I am. Did you just get vaccinated? I just got my second one and I'm starting to feel it. Uh-oh. Yeah. I did Johnson & Johnson. I got Pfizer. The first one, like, dude, I thought I was actually going to die in the first one, so I feel like I'm probably going to die in the second one. Really? The first dose was rough for you? Yeah, it was super bad. I was, like, in bed for, like, two days. So I couldn't get out. Damn. I hope you like it, Violet. 
So yeah, I'll probably die tomorrow. <clears throat> but uh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. No, I'm gonna carry. Sleep well, Phantom. Have a good night, man. Is Moonball the low gravity one? Yeah. Okay, that one's sick. You think Resident Evil 8 takes game of the year? Uh, it'd have to be a real Wait, shit year for games if that this? wins. What? No. Okay, I didn't know. Because I saw Mizkip doing it earlier. No, no, no. no. Yeah, doesn't this game suck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm be honest, I thought Biomune was gonna be great and it ended up being dog shit, and I thought this game was gonna be dog shit, and it's actually pretty fun. Like, no hashtag ad or anything. Yeah, but. no, I think this game's pretty fucking good, man. I wonder if it does have a career as like a potential esport. No. You don't think so? No. I don't it also know. It doesn't help that the. that like, the game's free to play for like, what, 10 days, and then it like, goes back to being a paid game? Yeah, I think, I think it's, it's gonna 20. like hurt the game. It might. I don't think so though. I used to think Fortnite could never make it as a competitive game, and look how that turned out. True. Yeah, this guy doesn't go for the fake outs. Oh. oh I just hit you. Okay. I actually went a little nutty there for a sec. How did I not catch that? No! Wait, is it just me and you versus these three? I don't know. No, we have another guy. It's the first time I've seen him. Also, isn't this Tuesday guy an actual league player? I have no idea. Well, what the hell is happening? I fucked that guy up so hard. <laughs> oh my god, I went into a ball and he just got annihilated. Picked me up instead. Oh, I just fucked this guy. Nice to be some Zfx. Pass to me. Oh. Oh, come on. That was big. Oh, You're just better than him. I'm just nuts. <laughs> You're just better than him. I'm God, it's too slow. Big flank. Oh. Hey, appreciate it, Benny. Thanks for the bits. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ. Thanks to reset a DZ. Oh, I forgot I, about the bombs. I also completely forgot about the bombs. That's on Damn, yeah. that's, that was a big clutch. That was really unlucky. I totally fucking forgot. All right, you want to abuse bombs now? Yeah, I think we should do some bombs. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should check out Biomutant. Yep, I just beat the game today. It fucking sucked. There, I'm behind you. Oh, wait, shit, shit, shit. Oh! Huh, where'd the moon ball go? Oh, there it is. God, we're just too good. Oh, I got him with the slow ball change up. Where are the balls? Mm. 
Thanks, you said blue screws. And the resub rich shrimp. Oh, I'm so sorry. All good. No! Oh boy, no ball. I thought I could get under it with that. This is a slaughter now. Where'd they go? Free aim. Son of a bitch! The BTS meal at McDonald's? What's the BTS meal? God, this dude is just tackling the fuck out of me. Here, give me a bomb, Duncan. Ready? I think this is free. Big, big, big. No, nope, they didn't go this way. One more. Blue team. Need a ball. Coming to you. Ugh. Oh, I did. Okay. Okay. There it is. I am proud, Astro. That's okay. good. Yep, we did day one Baltic glass. Didn't finish it, but we tried. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't think our teammate got one elimination that game. I didn't even see them, so I couldn't tell you. Yeah. I'm sure they did. Appreciate it. Thank you, Green. Hope you're having a good night. Oh my god. I keep fucking forgetting about the bombs when they're doing it. Watch this ricochet off that wall, free aim. Nope. Imagine though. What the fuck? Blue team takes the lead. Dude, I can't... The bombs are weird. Like, you can't tell they're coming in half the time. Gold team takes the lead. What? Oh, behind. Blue team takes the hmm. lead. Was that yours? Yeah, it was mine. God damn. <laughs> Thanks for the prime, Kodo. Oh, what? God damn it. From behind. Oof, I saw I that thinking. Yeah. 
They're pincer maneuvering. Yeah. They oh, have, no. They have all the balls now. Yeah. This isn't good. Get that moon ball. Coming in. Nice. Now we got two. Oh, we just got to focus. Uh... Yeah. That is so... You just got shit on. Yeah. I, I had nowhere to dodge the uh, the bomb ball. I was going to jump off and then come back on, but I got hit. God damn. Bomb ball is nuts. Nice play. Nice. What? Dude, oh that my is god. Fucked. Oh boy. This Tuesday guy just absolutely popped off. Thanks, you some thresh. Fuck! I got hit from behind in the last one. I am curious if Oxidia got a single kill. Feels bad. Thanks for the big 10 gift subs, Green. And the tier 1 burp. Thank you for the fat drop, Green. Ah. Uh, yeah, almost double digits. Actually, yeah, yeah. did Should fine. What rank are you? Uh, almost 9. Okay, good. We're almost ready for rank then. Thanks the resub corporal and the prime kid Kai. A water ranking? We did water. Bottled water. We did a whole tier list on bottled water. Hold up. <coughs> Wallace is still searching. I'm gonna fill this up. Perfect timing. Is the prime vital? Well, 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 what do we have here? Oh. Some brawlers squaring up for a fight down there. How many games did you win with uh Matt and Danny? In a row or in total? Just like in total. Did you guys like lose any at all? We lost a few towards the end when we got much better players. Mm. Thanks to the prime fast rage. I'm pretty sure that was the first, like, actual game that I lost. Because, like, all the ones that I lost when I was, like, solo queuing that when it first came out were all, like, 2v3s. Which are, like, near impossible to win. Oh. We just bullied that guy. What the fuck happened there? Okay, that guy's not very good. Wow, that was a real slow moving ball. Twisting lets me curb the ball. And this is a 
like a sinking shot. Oh god, they have all the balls. What is happening? Oh, okay. Wow. I'm hopping off. Okay. Hey, oh, Chef Vortivask is an innocent man. Thanks for the big 25, Codas. Oh, Jesus. I hope everything's alright. It's fucking terrible. I hope you're doing alright. Focus one dude. Bomb ball coming in. I don't know what's happening. Easy. Okay. I could not get any of those balls. When when that shit happens like that, I just I just start spamming. Yeah, Jesus. I think at that point I'm just gonna go into a ball and hope somebody picks me up and throws me. Actually, that's probably that probably is the smartest move. Thanks to the resub, newbie. Well, actually, can't enemies pick you up though? Mm-hmm. Oh, here, wait. Start with that. Yeah. I'm going in. Okay. Well, I did nothing. Oh. oh my god. I'm coming back. Oh, oh I thought that slow ball would get him. Close. Thanks to the resub toucan. This dude throws nothing but slow balls and it's actually pissing me off. Oh my god! these guys I'm not sure oh slow balling oh. nice we're oh. just too good I didn't do too well in that one damn that one wasn't me that might get me. Well, actually, we'd probably do one more, and I'll be ten. Bio mutant was bad. Yeah, it wasn't good. Ooh, that was not a good round for me. Where'd you go? Only nine KOs. You only had ten though. Ugh. Yeah, but your deaths, dude. Yikes. Yeah. You want to talk about that? No, it's fine. Okay, I'll let it slide this time. But come ranked, your ass is getting blasted if I see that again. How many deaths did I have? I still had a one eight. I think like two. <laughs> <laughs> Exit prime hop.
That's sweet. Thanks, Average Plays. <laughs> the game's free right now, Kodos. So you can try it. You don't have to pay for it if you don't want to. There's the prime leg hair. I haven't tried ranked, so we're going to see how that goes. I'm going pro in this game, Charlie. I mean, you're kind of going nutty. Yeah. You think you got what it takes to be the best? Well, <laughs> this is my new main game. Fuck Apex. I can't lift my arm, Charlie. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Is it just too sore? Yeah, it's like not moving up. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, it's lagging. Oh, what the fuck? How did I miss that catch? Thanks, Reese. Go, 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 Anna. Watch this free aim. Oh, no such luck, but I got one. Right, this is kind of awkward right here. Oh no! Fuck him up. You get him? Yep, I got him. Nice. I'm free aiming right now to see if I can get some shots. Wait, how do you free aim? Just don't lock on. Jesus. I just got. There's Absolute, a thousand balls yeah. coming in there. Here, throw me. I'm gonna get a little closer. Incoming! There we go. Okay. Oh, that's. I couldn't yeah, get out in no. time. Oh my god! No! Thanks, Resub Electric. This team's not bad. Yeah. A free aim mode? Uh, maybe that'd be pretty cool. Our teammate doesn't. Our teammate doesn't know what he's doing, Charlie. That makes sense. <laughs> wow, that couldn't have been worse. The guy from behind got me. Son of a bitch. Oh. Jesus Christ! Fuck! They're grouping real hard, it's tough. Yeah, and the multiballs are fucking yeah. me. Oh. 
Fuck! I thought the guy on the right had thrown, but he didn't hit. Uh oh. No. Thanks for some clarity and deranged. We well, just got stomped. I don't think Hector got a kill. Uh, well, considering I was sitting in a ball form and he was just sitting there, like while I was, like I was a ball, and he was just sitting there not doing anything. I don't think he knew what he was doing. He didn't even try to throw me. Thanks for the bitch flu fest. Hector had one KO. He had a port a point fourteen KD. My man. You level ten yet? Uh, no. Thanks, Flu. If I get, hold on. I think if I do like one more challenge, I'll be good. Okay. What anime is this? High Q. Why don't you do Destiny Dungeon? It's like a raid. Destiny Dungeons aren't really raid-like. They're fine, but they're not as fun as a raid. How long does the training in this game take? What do you mean, the training? If I if I do the training, I can get 1,000 XP and get level 10 right away. It's not worth. I don't know how long it takes, but it's probably not worth. Okay. Thanks for the Prime 20 Twixler. Takes two minutes to run through all the bots. Eh. Still not worth. Rather just get some dub skis. How is Biomutant? Bad. Alright. We don't the lose map. these. We don't lose yeah. these. This is our map. We are born to win this. Thanks to resub Karmst. Free aim? Nope. Got him. The outplay. And a ball I could catch. What the? Where did that even come from? Holy shit! Thanks for you said panders. Shit on right now, again. All okay. three are chasing me. Oh. Yeah, we gotta uh, pass a lot more so we can like speed up balls and shit. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh. Fuck. Thanks, the reset don't know anymore. Damn. Our teammate's really good with the bomb thing. 
Okay. Mm, nice. There we go. Nice. Our teammate okay. killed himself. Yep, yep, yep. I saw that. Okay, big bomb, maybe? Potentially? Nope. No, a little off. Oh, I was just a little too late on the catch. Fuck! This isn't looking good. It's not looking good. Oh boy. God damn it. Where's the resub, Carison? Jeremiah kind of popping. Yeah. Holy shit. Our team is the best bomb in the world. See? Oh! Actually, super clean right yeah. there. <laughs> Jeremiah actually built different. That's a bomb. I didn't hold him long enough. I thought I timed it right. Oh. Nice. nice! Fuck yeah. I'm going for a snipe. Ooh! Ooh, baby. Going for another. Damn, wasn't good enough. Oh! I slow rolled oh. Jeremiah at him. Uh, I didn't get my fucking dash off in time. That was free. Thanks, Teresa Allen. Oh, wait, throw me. He's got a bomb. Oh my god. Mm. Yeah, no, no, no. If it was sponsored, it'd be hashtag ad. Good, the they're title. starting to pass and shit. No. Dang, get out, Dankin. Get out. Get out. Oh. 
Where the balls? No. All right, no. Jeremiah went all or nothing and missed. God damn it! That was so close. Now we're sucking ass. Well, that's not our fault. Jeremiah only did one thing. He was good with the bomb. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Exit tier so one wasted training thing takes like two seconds, so I just have to run around the like block party thing. We might as well do that if I don't don't hit level ten right here. You will hit it right here. I didn't hit level ten. I'm not even close. How? Just go back to the block party. I'm just gonna run around the thing and do. It. I think I literally just have to like t do like text box training. Okay. Well, while you do that, I'm gonna grab a snack. All right, I'll be right back. I'm back. I don't leave that game to do uh another you ready? thing. Yeah, give me one second. I don't want it to lock on, I wanna free aim this. God damn it. Stop Stop locking on! Thanks the prime, Zanny. Ugh. If I hit this off the wall and it hits him, is it still a hit? No, it doesn't look like it. Join 
Thanks, the reset Lola bunnies. The Eternals trailer looks like trash. The fuck is the Eternals? Is that a Marvel thing? Okay, well, I did not get 10, but it should be like one or two games, and then we should be good. Okay. Practicing my change-ups. It's a teaser trailer, it's not the actual trailer. Okay, is it a marble thing though? We've been sucking ass. We've been doing fine. We had a teammate that had one kill. True. Hector. Is there Julian? Julian. Hector, man. That's the job. It is marble? Okay. Yeah, I'm not expecting much. All marble shows have been kind of samey. Except for WandaVision, that was pretty good. Until the end. Game time. Whoa. Is this oh a boy. Yep. You feeling that? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck that guy up. Oh. God damn it. Thanks for resub, sweet Danny. Get it. I'm popping off. Oh, it went You're over. Not. Yeah, I'm not. I didn't think his was going over. Oh. I'm scared. Catch that. What is going on? What in the fuck? Did you fall off the map? No, I got hit off the map, but yeah. Nice, good moon ball. Fucking insane in this game. Thanks, the reset Darth Shadix. Dude, this guy's insane. That guy is actually unkillable. Yeah, fucking raid boss. I was trying to slow roll it for you to hit him, and he still caught both. I just... Oh, God. We killed each other! We killed each no! other! And I gave it to them. Wait, um, I looked at your stream. It looked like you hit him first. I don't understand how that happened. Why did they give it to him? That was bullshit. That guy was actually unkillable, though. Yeah, that guy was nutty. 
Big throw at the end. What the fuck? We got this shit though. Alright, pass it quick, pass it quick. Nice, big. Oh, big hit. Ugh. What? What ah. in the fuck is going on? This guy's actually the best. What is this game called? Knockout City player in the world. Holy shit. Going in the middle is just a death trap. There's six balls in there and they control all of them. Oh. Oh my yeah, god. This, is over. this their teamwork is nuts. They're three stacking. Oh my god. Thanks to the Prime 1 guy. That charge into this me. This Hawks guy is actually insane. Oh. on you oh his oh. ball hit me oh I got one Oh god. No! <laughs> <laughs> you killed me! <laughs> I thought I had you in bomb ready to go, but I threw it a little too early. Yeah, uh, well, that guy in the middle is actually nutty. I thought the Hail of the Lock guy was gonna get it. There we go. I'm level 10. That was a rough round. Yeah, it was just warm up though. Now we're in ranked. Yeah. Now we're gonna win every game. Thanks to Prime Sloop Goop in the tier one SG. Listen up. This is competitive ranked play. I doubt they'll be as good as that guy. Uh, they can be. We're gonna be playing like in bronze leagues. Oh, is that Wood League? Wow, look at this! Look at their fucking names. Z Explosions. It's a it's a clan. Z T. Z T. Oh, that's sad. You think they're gonna lose? I don't know. They could be the first knockout city clan. They all look alike, that's the real point. They don't. Wow. Damn. I know you and the boys were looking alike. You got you guys look like a team. Yeah, we looked like a squad. I would have been terrified. Team KO. Round one. Ooh, okay, this is laggy. Okay, they're gonna throw you, right? And I'm gonna pass to you as soon as you hit the ground. How did I get neither? What? I hit one. Oh, nice. Wow, we suck. God damn. Oh god. Oh, from no. behind. Oh 
Okay. Blue team takes the lead. Yeah, I got a bomb behind you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is it. Look at that patch. That the was teamwork. beautiful. You want another? Here you go. Fuck. You want another? Here you go. Oh, he's about to hit that train. Ooh. Let's go. <laughs> ah. Dude, this team is dog shit. I actually went yeah. nuts. <laughs> that was nuts. I was going fucking wild in there. DPS, the the beautiful play, the passes. Oh, oh my god, god, that was just optimal. Mwah. What the fuck was our teammate Thanks, doing? Play. I had forgot we had one. Same. Thanks, we said play. Oh, oh. multi ball passes coming in hot. I'm not doing anything, Charlie, except passing the rest of his entire of my career. Okay? Okay. There we go. Oh! No! Good pass, though. Passing is nutty. It's so gross. Oh Multiple. my god. Thank you. This is the strat. <laughs> this is this is broken. Oh, that poor guy steamrolled nine to one right now. Jesus, this is yucky. Oh, oh I just got shit on. Oh, you got hit by the train. Where, did, dude? The passes. Just keep tossing balls, Charlie. Yeah. I'm gonna be in those sidelines just tossing balls in. That was such a fucking blowout. I think I only died once. That's what I like to see. What are my assists were? You know what they say, like assists are like the best the biggest part of the like the teamwork, you know? Oh that it's is the what most they important say. stat. It's the most important stat. Ooh, 13 KOs and 6.5 KDR. You still had 10, even with those 13 Ooh. passes. God damn. Dude, Thanks, the reset Hustin hyper gauge. Popping off. <clears throat> that was gross. Are the ranks like. Is it just like. Well, I, I assume they're like wacky ranks, like wood, probably like. Fucking amethyst. Yeah, that's probably what it is. <laughs> Emerald. <laughs> Exit tier 1, Tenno. Sleep well, demon. Oh my god. It, it it actually is. Emerald, Sapphire, Emerald, Ruby, Diamond. Wait, what? It goes unranked, <laughs> Bronze, Silver, Gold, Plat, Sapphire, Emerald, Ruby, Diamond. Holy shit, I can't believe that. Nice, fuck yeah. Man, there's a fuck ton of ranks. Wait, but this ranking system seems kind of like... You just get a point for every win. Oh, welcome well, we back then, Keith. Yeah, Biomutant so bio Blue Ass. It was bad. I beat it today. The radio station for 
Did not like it. There's no like performance points like in Apex, so I think it's like Rocket League. Okay, that's easy. I think Rocket League is like that, where it's just like you get one point for a win, down one if you lose. I don't fucking know. Yep, it took a little over eight hours to beat Biomutant. Okay. Oh, I tried to free aim it. Oh my god. No! I save you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? God, the cage ball is so sick. Yeah, cage ball is nice. Okay. Look at tier one, Keith. Fuck yeah, man. Uh oh. Two v one. Dank and that was the nastiest 2v1 of my fucking knockout city career. That guy's accusing me of cheating right now on his stream, I know it. Thanks for some Night Slayer in the Prime Omac. I'm so sad. Let's fucking go! AC-130 inbound. Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. Clean. We found the strat. Clean. We found the strat. Thanks for some Quatrick in the prime, Voidy. World first. Nobody else is doing this. Oh yeah, this is new ground right here. Yep. Free aim, watch this, they're gonna accuse me of aim botting. Oh, free aim, Dankin! Oh, sorry. Ah, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I hit that guy fucking freehand. Oh, throw me off the fucking map. Blue team takes the lead. I'm actually just Charlie. gross. Where are you? Oh wait, that's not you. That's not me. Watch this though, completely freehand. Watch this hit. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? There. Thanks. I'm used to that. Oh fuck, I couldn't get him back in time. Oh my, that was disgusting. I've thrown so many people off the map. I love the cage ball. Shit. Oh! Crusty butt! Oh. Popped out of cage by accident. Oh. Oh, God. Oh! We're throwing Dank in! No, we're not! Laser, you said Mr. Ray's. Oh! It was worth. 
I was gonna try and freehand that. It didn't really go where I needed it to. God, I got him with a nasty changeup. Easy. Exit the resub, filthy. Look at that. That was clean. I hit the nastiest 2v1, followed up with a wonderful free aim shot. Dank it, I'm gross. Love to see that. God damn. Bro, when's Twitch rivals for this shit? I know, I just stomp. You might actually not get last Alex. place. Okay, that's uh, that was kind of mean, but yeah. yeah I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> I just might, Aaron. I'm absolutely disgusting at this one. Topped it off with a complete lack of humility. Disrespect. Thanks to the Prime Dark Unit. Dude, we're insane. We are actually gross. Our teammate didn't do shit. We just straight carried. God damn. This is the best game I ever made. It's up there. It's up there with the greats. Like Biomutant. Yeah, just like Biomutant. <laughs> Am I gonna play My Chivalry Open Beta on made. Tuesday? Thursday? Maybe. Is Biomutant the worst game you've played all year? No, Balance Wonderworld is. I think Biomutant's probably uh, second yeah. though. I forgot about that game. Thanks to tier one, Billy Throb Snorton. Yeah, you're actually a psychopath for even like buying that game. Balan? Yeah. Yeah. All that game is rough. All the turn your radios up so loud that they can hear it all the way in City Hall. Wake those fools up. Let's make some noise. Yep, I'm moist meter by a mutant. <clears throat> Have a good night, anime gamer. Maybe, Chris. Might be tomorrow. And no, I don't, Tornini. Do you actually think Biomutant is bad? It was very bad, yeah. You can watch the VOD back if you want, but yeah, it was not good. Our teammate not, might not be smart, Charlie. AFK! AFK! Let's go! Dude, you're snapping right now. God I damn. know, I know. Yo, pass, pass, pass. What the fuck was that? I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I went to pass, but I hit the wall. I didn't turn fully around. It happens. Blue team takes the lead. Well, I just threw a ball off the map, so that was cool. I'm 3v1 right now. Okay, I'm coming in. Oh, you might get shit on. Nope, I've already killed two. Ah, the bomb blows up. I killed all three. You're insane. Woo! Pass to me. Pass to me. Pass to me. There you go. Ah, uh, I couldn't no, throw the ball and catch. my friend. That still Dude, hit? Got shit on. Wow, I can't believe that still hit. I just got shit on. Oh shit! What the fuck? Oh! Nice. Blue team takes the lead. Let's go. God damn it, the guy up top. 
Chase him down, Dankin. Hunt him down. Like the He's animal not. he is. No. Oh, God. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, our teammate didn't have a ball the entire time? Other guy, other guy. Switch aim. Fuck, I couldn't get to the other guy in time. I might have been able to save us. I, I died a lot that game. That was my fault. I hate when the lock-on, like, sticks so heavy. I wish there was a way to, like, keybind yeah, a switch. Th that's what I was saying. I, I think it works like a controller does for the lock-on, so you have to, like, flick your mouse in order to move to the next guy. Maybe. I didn't try that. I tried just looking at him like an idiot, I guess. I mean, that works too, but, like, it might not work all the time. Oh! Fuck! From behind. Oh. God damn it! This isn't looking good. Ooh. Oh my god, I got all th oh No, I got all three! <laughs> We're insane. That was big. Good bomb. Good pass. Yep. They're coming in with the bomb. Oh. Our teammate just killed me. Oh, I did it for the fucking squad. Triple KO again. I have team- You're actually insane. I have team wiped three times in this match right now. Ah, who was that? Oh, that was an enemy. Oh, good change up. Oh, God. Oh, from behind, no! Okay. I should have turned. We need to stick together. There's a bomb in the middle, or a ball in the middle. Okay. Oh, shit. Ball here. Where you at? Pass. There you go. Oh. Oh, we can just juggle that. Ow. It's all you. <laughs> Come on, C Dub. Oh, shit, I missed. C Dub, yes, he. I go. I watched that whole thing. I was trying to get a good shot on the guy. I'm not doing so hot this game. I won't lie. Gotta pull Thanks to resub four time aim. I think the game's good. I have a lot of fun with it. Going in for a big flank. I'm nuts, man. Yeah, you just, yeah, you're just better. <laughs> I'm actually just disgusting at this game. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. I missed twice. Thanks for five gift subs, Nosferatu. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Appreciate the generosity. C Dub is actually pretty good. Yeah, no, he knows what he's doing. Nope. That was C Dub. Nice. 
Oh, oh huge, huge bomb. Right yeah, on. big bomb. Come on, C-Dub. What are you doing? No, 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 C-Dub. Okay, that's fine, whatever. There we go. Oh god. Blue team takes the lead. Nice. Yeah, it was like Thanks one for another shot five gift subs, Nosferatu, and the five gift subs, Alchemy. Okay, he's popping off. Okay, he died. Uh oh, he's over there. Ah, that's just unfortunate. Uh oh, they have every single ball. Holy fuck. God damn it! I caught the ball, but it still hit me no. off. God I damn. Terrible that game. I team wiped them three times. I know. That was a big game for me. That should have been free. Fuck, dude. Thanks to the reset. Terra, tits on coke, and the prime shit. salad. Big time. Fuck. I can't believe we lost that. I went nuts in that game. Nosferatu, thank you again, man. Thank you for the five gift subs again. Oh, they were carried hard by Fuzzle Fluff. Mm. Damn, I thought Squall Dragon was the, the good guy. There were no good guys on that team. They got squad wiped three times. <laughs> True. Y'all you know, sports ball, I need to replenish my electrolytes. I'll be right back. Oh, good call. <laughs> yeah, it was just rough, unfortunately. I thought we had that for sure. I'm gonna start a clan? A crew? Yeah, I might. Thanks to the resub, Total Dread. You get rewards for being in a crew? Yeah, you do. I know. How much is the game? It's free till the 31st. Yeah, it's only free till the 31st, then it's 20 bucks. I think we can add a chase after this game. Good, Supposedly yeah. he's been playing the fuck out of this game. Bring him in. That was rude. Yeah, we, we waited. Dude, this map's huge. Yeah, it's a big map. What? I didn't even get an indicator. I'm insane. Blue team takes the lead. It's all tied up. Watch this free hand aim. Oh, never mind. It locked on. Oh, uh huh. Excuse me. Blue team takes the lead. <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> all three people yeah. on him. Ah! 
Free hand. Oh. There should be a benefit to aiming freehand, like you don't get the indicator. So that way people don't know. Ah, uh, traded. Oh, they don't. Thanks to Prime Zoa and the resub cliche username. Wow, I just got full autoed. This team's definitely not bad tanking. Yeah. That guy full autoed me. I couldn't get a catch at any point. Oh my god, I just got shit on. What the fuck? I think we need some big passes. Yeah, they're doing a lot of pass plays. Chase man's way up. No balls, though. Don't go in yet, Duncan. We don't have any balls. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. God damn it. What? Oh my god, these guys are good. Nice. Nah. Couldn't get it over the tree. Oh my lord. No. That team went wild, Dankin. Wild. Uh oh. I don't like this. Yeah, that was pretty strong. Exit Prime, Mr. Sesame. <laughs> that was sick. Are they behind us? What? How in the fuck? Uh, dude. This guy just like free free through to me in like perfect accuracy. This team's gross. Incoming! Oh god, they're passing big time. Oh my god, dude. What a fucking rough one. Wow, I cannot react to these balls at all. Okay, not bad. What the fuck? Re-aim. Hit it. Nice. Mm. How does that keep happening? Oh. Okay, we're actually popping off. Oh man, he fucking turned that so quick. Holy shit. He was looking the other way, caught it, and then immediately turned in like a flick. Jesus. 
Uh, thanks, Reset Darth. Okay. Oh, that was close. Bombs coming in. Oh! Hit me. Oh. God damn it. All right, there we go. All Big right. comeback. Ooh. Thanks to Prime Onion. I don't think I'll be getting any Smegma coin, but good luck to everyone, everyone that did. Ball on your left. At one. Ooh. Kind of filthy. Free aim. Free. Oh, wasn't free aim. Shit, good fucking mix up. No! no what the fuck? What? The, he just <laughs> saved his fucking life! What is happening? Oh my god, I thought I could get that. That was bold, I thought I had that. I thought I had the perfect timing. Why am I still locked on? Car helped a lot there, not gonna lie. Okay. Nice. Very good. We just need to like get on one person <laughs> yeah. like that and just Bukaki gangbang him. No! Thank it, I'm feeling it again. That's what I like to hear. Ooh, that was nasty. That was pretty gross. Good pass. Thanks for the gift sub, Mawile. Free aim. Fuck. All right, just just settle it down, slow yeah. it down. Take it easy, take it easy. All right, I'm right next to you. Yeah, it's a chase, man. Oh! Oh! Wait, we won. Yeah, Chase got him. 
Oh yeah, the actual chase. He said he's playing CS with Scoots and everyone. So. Oh, no worries. Too, so. No worries. We're still popping off though. Yeah, that was still a pretty Big good match. Big time. I'm getting really good at free aim. <laughs> yeah, kind of do. Have you actually been doing free aiming? I have. I've been getting kind of nuts at it. Damn. So it doesn't give you an indicator. If you free aim, they don't see it's coming. So like if uh, yeah, I, I was doing that for the bomb, but like it's kind of weird. Like yeah. how do you make it so like it you don't lock on? You, you just you, you have to be at range. Yeah, you just have to be at a certain range. I think. Gotcha, gotcha. My preferred special ball. I'm not sure. I'm gonna take a tinkle though. Gotcha. Right back. Your host with the most, your DJ all night and day, and this is KO City Pirate Radio, baby. Turn on, tune in, and knock out. No, what the fuck? Boys. We found a game so quick. Charlie's gone. Rough, I'm back. Let's resub siege. Damn, the football's nuts. That was the slowest curveball I've ever seen. Oh, that was so slow. Amazing, holy shit. I couldn't get behind the wall in time. Round four, blue team. Free aim. I don't want to lock on, I just want to hit a nasty one. Nope, I'm tough. Dude, the football is so sick. Nice. Holy shit. The AFK win. Yep, that was easy. We gave him two in the beginning when I was away. Ugh. 
Well, good luck in school, oh chief. This is gonna be free aim, watch this. Was it free aim? What? Oh! That was embarrassing. Yeah, wow. Things are reset blissful. I thought maybe this slow ball would get him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus! I'm missing everything right now. Oh. Let's go, baby! That was actually big. Oh. Get out of the oh. train tracks. Yeah, that's close, yeah. Wait, that's actually really slow. Ooh, Ooh. good curve. I need a ball. Oh. 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 Oops. Oh, I've totally forgot. I thought it was only if you got hit from the front. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I could get right up against it. Blue team takes the lead. It's all tied up. Mm. The fuck was that? Did he hit the train? Oh! Blue team needs one more point to win the match. Very oh. good, easy. Let's go. Oh, they were a clan too. That's I so know. Sad. That's so embarrassing. Ooh, that was yikes. not a very good round for me, though. Well, you were AFK for like. I'm pretty sure you were like the three deaths in the beginning. I only died once, I think. Wait, wasn't that three? No, that was two in a row. Oh, I still came back and dropped eleven. That's easy. It's casual. You can run to cancel the throw. I usually dash, but yeah, I know. <laughs> what was that? Uh, no, that's... Anytime, like, the game starts or you start matchmaking, you hear a thing in the background go, Mmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get that, too. <laughs> okay. Did you hear that? Yeah, I thought it was you making a noise. Okay. <laughs> it was the first time I happened, I thought I was in a Discord call with someone when I was just playing by myself, and I was like, what the fuck? Did Biomutant make you feel sad? Yeah, but not because it's a sad game, it's just a bad one. Which was disappointing. What's your global rank? Number one. Spinning the 
tracks while you dish out the wax in this brand new brawl. Let's see what you got. Uh oh, multi ball. Have I looked at Breathage? No. Thanks, the resub Fear Nova. You know, I'm more scared when it's not a clan that we're fighting. Yeah. So far, those have been the best play uh, best players. Yeah. Well, best player, since it's only one dude that's just solo carry. Oh. Okay, he's, he's got I'm just nuts. Good. I'm yeah. just nuts. Yeah, they don't seem that good. We're good. And a little unlucky death, that's all. Uh oh. Yeah. No! Oh my god, okay. That yeah. multi ball is gross. That multi ball is gross. Thanks, I already said that, but thanks, Nova. They can just juggle the fuck out of that. Incoming! What? Nice. Oh, nice. They got bomb. Mmm. I'm still just cruising. Oh. Fuck her up. No. Ah. Oh, he didn't do a hard throw. Fuck. Nice. Okay, okay. This is looking pretty smooth. Yeah, yep, yep. We got a little shit on by the multi ball at one point, but other than that, I'm doing just fine. Are you bomb me? <laughs> Both of you want to be bombed here. Oh, wait, what? Did I get hit by two balls right there? Okay, we need to slow it down here. Yeah, we're getting shit on right now. You're all by yourself. What? Alright. Good work. I need some of those balls. Wait, she fell off and we didn't get a kill for that. Yeah, and no, I'm pretty sure we did. I got a KO assist. Oh, that car just saved him. That was such a good throw. Ugh, I went for it.
Good ball movement. Shut up. <laughs> nice. Oh. Wait, where the... What? Bro, what is happening? I didn't catch that? My fucking hands were out! What do you mean? Okay. Alright. I think the last guy is one shot. So just slow it down. I think we just steamroll him. Nice. God damn it. Okay, okay, okay. Just slow it down. They're, they're right here. Around that corner, I think. Oh my god, the car. Bomb. They're on you, Dakin! Help! Get those hit. Oh, multi ball! I lost some. No! Why? That's sad. That's sad. I got hit and all the balls just went everywhere. Yeah, that's all right. God damn it. This is such a clean game. Got one. Okay, nice. Fuck! Sometimes there's just no getting away from that. Alright, we need to group up. Oh, you gotta kill the bomb. Got one Dude, one shot. Ah, they're, they're, oh, they're able to lock on me like from a head glitch. That's what's actually OP. We need to abuse that next time. Oh, you are getting. I was catching every single ball. I just didn't have room to breathe. God damn! There was no offense I could turn around there. Thanks, resub, big buddy. We can't throw like this. This was such an easy game. What? Around the taxi, there we go. Okay. No! Oh. Alright, Sebastian's just throwing himself at him. Free aim. Wow, to my right. Well, somehow we've ended up losing this game. Fuck. God damn it. What? Nice. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, God. That's a bold play. Uh, I tried to go for the multi ball. That was stupid. Damn it. How did we end up losing to that team? They were really not good. I don't know.
Thanks to Prime Laxus. Well, we're gonna see what Sorry, rank I, I get. Oh, unless there's like placement matches. I never played that, Pierre. Uh, Sebastian really sucked a fat fucking butthole. Holy Did shit. He? What'd he go? Mm -hmm. 9 KO. Ooh. Ew. I really appreciate it, Laggy. Thank you for the generosity, and I hope you have a great rest of the night. Rank isn't placement, it's a climb? What do you mean? Are these not placement matches? Alright, let me use the restroom real quick. Oh, we just found a game! Ah. Hurry! I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna hold it. Oh, that's a big fucking gamer. That's Knockout oh. City. I'll risk it all for Knockout City. Sleep well, Steve, and have fun, man. Who needs a working bladder when you got Knockout City, am I right? Yeah, fuck yeah. Turn up your radios and snap off that dial. We got a brand new brawl going down. Thanks to Prime Curly. Yeah! Fuck We're yeah! fucking nuts! That's gross! World record? I think that was a world record. Holy shit! How did they get MVP? They fucking suck. Yeah, I didn't do anything. We're bronze one. Bronze one! Thanks to Resub Moldy. Something's not right. Alright, now I'm gonna go pee. Makes sense. After that big win right there. You can't lose rank once you get it. Nice. <sighs> no, that game doesn't count for the bet. That wouldn't be fair. You gonna watch the new Conjuring movie? Yeah. Thanks to Tier 1 Diddly. Oh, I feel incredible. That's what I like to hear. Glad you're enjoying my game. Did you work on this game? That's fucking awesome, man. Yeah, it's good. Alright, we don't lose these. Mm -mm. We decimated last time we were here. Oh, it was disgusting. And we've got our boy... 2984729. Oh my god, he's, he's cheating! We got a cheater! Let's go! Watch this free aim. Too early. Damn, the bombs are actually hard to aim. You're just better. God damn it goes high. Early, no. I got one, I got one. Alright, I'm I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I can't believe I didn't catch that. 
Wow. Oh, I just decimated this guy. They're not good. As I said, I was about to get some. Oh, one's AFK. Woo! Nice, Duncan. Destroyed this guy. Just keep finding the AFK, we win. Oh, I went for the big free aim. So did he. Free aim? I just fucked up. Is he still AFK? Mm, I think they left. Shit. Thanks to Gifted Tuli. And the resub now. This oh, they're is here, epic. they're here. Came back? Okay, okay. Free aim? Damn, I just got shit on. Oh. I got him on like one shot, I think, except for one. Got that hit. Good fucking pass. Yes, sir. Shit. You going to bed? That's... All right, I'll be there to say goodnight in a sec. Oh. All you have to do is just not throw the ball. Damn. My job easiest shit would be with like an actual free stack. I, uh, We're just passing all over the place. We would not lose. Incoming! Oh, I see what you're doing. Easy. You had double? Damn. Yep. Okay. Oh, Dankin, this is this is just too easy. Holy shit! Well, that was kind of cool. Oh fuck! I couldn't get it in time. Oh, that was free aim. I couldn't get it in time. Is this a sponsored stream? No, man. If it was, it would have hashtag ad or sponsor or, or knockout city partner or something in the title, man. Where are the balls? Damn. Yeah. Still didn't work, but he was very patient. Good for him. Oh, this poor guy. Oh. No. God damn it. Oh, too early. Oh, fuck yeah. Alright, 2v1, let's go. This is easy, I win these. Oh, fuck. That was slower than I thought. Where are you? I was going for a 1v2. I want a free aim. Uh, whatever. Let's go. There's the prime playmaker. Just too disgusting at this game. Good two nine eight four seven two nine eight three. Wait, how the fuck? Seven two nine three four.
How did he get MVP? I definitely had more KOs. Yeah, no chance. No, he's probably actually cheating. I was gonna say, I felt like yeah. I was popping off that game. He just didn't die. I guess he just played real safe. Yo, we had more kills than him. Yeah. And that's the most important. What's the global rank? Uh, I'm ranked number one. If you did work on this game though, Diddley. Great uh, work. Kashu was not the guy that was AFK. And he was having a rough game. Have you tried the pump fake yet? Yeah, I use it sometimes when I think the other team knows what they're doing. Otherwise, I kind of just like running at them and holding. <clears throat> Actually, hold on. I think I might have to call it a night. I just remembered Tiana's going to bed. All good. How do I cancel? Never mind, I couldn't get my mouse on screen in oh, time. We gotta play shit. one more. Why wasn't my mouse coming on screen? Okay. I don't understand. Yeah, almost 11 hours on the stream today. Fucking Biomutant. Thanks for the gift sub, Playmaker. Yeah, we always do a raid after stream. Yep, finished Biomutant. If you don't mind, let's just go ahead and slap this. Just speedrun it. I'm down, I'm down. Yeah, okay. yeah. That guy's outfit. I don't know. Team KO. Round one. Mm. No balls here. Ooh. Oh god, that's David Parker guy's actually good. What? Oh. Like this whole team might be good. Shit. Alright. Or we can just speedrun getting absolutely slammed, I guess. Yeah. This team's kind of nuts. Oh yeah, these guys are good. What the fuck? Oh, how the fuck. Oh, shit. I didn't even... Wow. How, wait. How did... Oh, he had a bomb. Oh, I thought he was in the bomb form. That's what I thought. I was gonna say, how was that even possible? I didn't want to do that. I was trying to free aim. Get with a bomb. Jesus. I thought the guy behind me died. That team is nuts. The uh, David Parker guy is catching every ball. That team is actually fucking nuts. Oh, I'm sorry to hear you broke your hand, Tuli. Wishing you a speedy recovery.
Free him. Mm. Oh. All right, a little better. I actually haven't seen David Parker Lee miss a single catch. He's nuts. I haven't seen him miss a catch. Exit five gift subs, Chief. Really appreciate it. Thank you, man. Huh? Oh, I got hit by the fucking thing. I saw that. Good work, Dankin. I was say how I didn't catch that, but I got hit by the thing before it got there. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, no. There's two people. Nope. Their bomb plays are nuts. Yeah. Like, holy shit. Okay. I <laughs> that, that was dangerous. <laughs> what happened? These bombs, man. I don't understand how they do it. They throw a really slow ball and still get it every time because their timing this is perfect. All right. Free! Free! No! Free! <laughs> There's another guy coming! Fuck! Oh, I couldn't... No! I couldn't catch it. How did you kill him? How did you not kill him when I knocked him off? I, it, it went to the other guy instead of the guy right below. Oh! Take it! No. That was a really fucking good team. Damn. We popped the fuck off, though, today. Yeah, it was a good a good climb overall. Bad last game though. Ooh, only six KOs for me in that one. Jesus Christ. Likes. How much do I have? Eight. Ew, gross. That was a rough one. Yeah. Alright, I'm heading out. Later. I'm I'm probably good enough too. I'm fucking sore as hell. <laughs> Alright. Jeez. Hope you don't get too sick or anything. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Alright, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. To everyone who donated, big thank you. New subs, welcome aboard. Sub means a lot, so thank you for subbing. Enjoy the emotes, and I hope you all have a wonderful evening. I'll throw you... Um... I'll throw you to Kid Emotions tonight. He's doing League. Alright, thanks again, everyone. Have a great night. See ya.